Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me put my earplugs in. Woohoo! Hey everybody. Welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing today? Happy Monday, guys. Um I said let's uh let's do a little bit of addressing the addressing the comments cuz we we always have so many. Um I hope you guys caught up cuz I feel like I did put a lot of content out this weekend. Um, so I hope that you guys are good and caught up and, um, let's see. I see everybody coming in the room. Welcome, welcome, welcome guys. Make sure to hit the like button for me. Um, and let's talk about what's going on. Um, okay. So far, um, so Let's just get caught up at the events of last week. This time, and I'm going to have to apologize in advance. My dogs are like super vocal right now. It's been a Monday and pretty much that's it and that's all. So um, let's get into it. Um, okay. This time last week, so this time last week, Monday, there was a bail hearing and um, we're going to talk about Ernest Williams, okay, um, sir, is sitting in Cobb County. He is a guest from Fulton County. He has been charged with an array of offenses. He had a very serious charge dismissed last week, and that included some CP. If you're not familiar with what's going on with that, want some more detail, I would, I'm going to invite you to go directly to my playlist and run all the way down to the bottom and do a binge watch all the way to the tippy top so you can get a full masterclass at what the hell's going on over here because it's a complete shit show. Okay. Let's just be honest on a Monday. Okay. Um, go to the bottom. And then if you are real, if you've got the stamina and the energy run down to the uncut playlist and that'll help you a lot too. You can also go over to phone calls from prison and that will definitely help quite a bit. Um, the community post, there's so much information out here. If you want to know about what's going on um, with Mr. Ernest Williams, the case and the calls, but if you also want to know about the love triangle, well, yeah, we've talked about that too. We've talked about that too. There have been some very willing participants on these YouTube streets, most of which and centered upon this lady right here. See, everybody else has been silent. Most of the people in this love triangle and this, um, and this calamity of chaos um, have all been quiet. Miss Shirley Strawberry from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, she hadn't said a peep. Okay? I had a bougie gang um, sis was out here this weekend doing her job, I guess, at a very fine Atlanta eatery. And guess who was in there this weekend eating with their daughter? Just happened to, sp like, wait, it's like coming from, I guess I'm assuming maybe somewhere in the operations area and almost ran into Miss Shirley either going to or coming from the bathroom and was like, oh shit, that's sure. So, hey Fran, guess what? I was at work this weekend and ran right into literally Miss Shirley, okay? I said, did you, did you get a picture? She was like, no, 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 no. I just, I saw her, she was eating with her daughter um, she looked beautiful. I just wanted you to know she's, she looks like she's doing well. And I was like, Oh, okay. Thank you. I mean, okay. Miss Shirley sighting, right? We haven't heard from her other than her statement. And we can actually review that today. If that might be something you guys want to, since we hadn't heard that in a minute, it's been almost six months since the strawberry letter. Um, we can talk about that today since five months from the strawberry letter. I don't know. You guys may or may not want to do that. We might. Okay. Um, Nesto, he basically has been quiet other than the fact that 
his calls hit the YouTube streets. And even when this lady here with the filters um, loves to remind him how everything is being heard, every the, the prosecute, all everything, he's still kind of like, well, enough with all that. How are you doing? Oh, your nails look nice. Oh, I like your ponytail. He's not, he's, he doesn't even try to address the YouTube streets. Nobody, like no one in this calamity shit show addresses the YouTube streets, but this lady right here who somehow I think is a shit starter. Let's just be real. And I think that if Nesto has trouble getting his fair shake or fair evaluation by the court or uh, due process, whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> that's going to be this lady's fault right here. I'm sorry. She is, she is a clown. Uh, okay. And she's a clown. She's a clown. And she is getting in the way of Sir's freedom. So she says that she is a advocate. Well, she doesn't say she's an advocate. She just says she he it's civil. Um, Sonia is the clown of the year. She is a shit starter. Yes. Um, oops, live a couple of times this weekend. Honestly, she is. She's making a big mess and causing a lot of strife. Absolutely. Me personally, I I don't I'm not offended. I'm going to just be honest. I'm not offended by one thing I've heard on the YouTube streets because my conscience is absolutely clear. I don't care if this what this lady says. I don't care. I don't like I don't I my conscience is clear. I don't know what she thinks is going on, but what she needs to do is take her little happy tail around YouTube and see how this thing operates. She came to YouTube to have a full YouTube experience and a full YouTube experience is what she is experiencing. Okay. You wanted to come to YouTube. You wanted to put up a channel. You wanted to be YouTube famous. You wanted to go live. Um, right before we came live, hold on, let me pull up this comment. Some, this same weirdo who loves to type pamphlets in my comment section Hold on. I was like, ew. Okay? Ew. Ew. Do you understand me? Ew. <laughs> Leave my comment section alone. Okay? Um, let me see. Uh where'd this lady? Let me go into studio and find. Okay, guys, don't kill me, but who won the Super Bowl last night? We did not even watch, girl. We was in the bed, okay? Um, was It was Kansas City and who? It was in Las Vegas and what? Um, we didn't even, I don't even know. We, we just relaxed. Plus, Farrah wasn't feeling well. Majeski needs to come on with it for Nesto's hearing. Okay, let me, let me do this. I'm going to break this into two screens. I'm going to do one screen like this. And y'all, you know, I've been having computer issues, which is so annoying. Um, okay. This person, let me share my screen with you guys. I'm just like, ew. It didn't save. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, this person said, I don't know where it is that people feel like this lady's getting picked on. I don't, uh, she's grown. She's older than me, okay? Oh my God. So now the lady can't even eat at a food court without people thinking she's trying to be in the limelight. Who goes live from the food court? 
Can you guys tell me who goes live from the food court that doesn't want to be noticed? Who goes live? Was Shirley live in the food court? Was Dre live from the food court? Was Dion live from the food court? Who who went live from the food court yesterday in in uh not yesterday, um the day before yesterday? Who was live in Las Vegas on a Saturday night Super Bowl weekend live? Live from the food court. Who for an hour, not 10 minutes, not 20 minutes, not I have a special message to tell you guys. Who went live from the food court? on saturday huh who was live i'm sorry my job on the youtube streets is to report the news of the stories that i'm covering and this happens to be one of them because this man right here he has a crazy lady that he went and used some special toys on and blew her mind okay ruined his marriage and sis mind is blown and now because he gave her a little bit of credibility or whatever he seems to have given her ma'am thinks it's cute to go live super bowl weekend from las vegas and think that she's special or something okay okay so now oh my omg so now that lady can't even eat in a food how would I have known she was in the food court other than the fact that she went live? Okay. Oh my God. So now lady can't even eat in a food court without people thinking she's trying to be in the limelight. Are you serious? This has got to be the most juvenile. I can't believe this. This is so disheartening to see. Yes. I say it. Black people acting like this, you know, this has got to be Sonya. Okay. Do I have any music? Girl. Try again, sis. I'll yes, I'll say it. Black people acting like this. Who who what black person says black? You either have to be a colorist or you hate black people, you hate yourself. You are e either a self-hating ass black person, which we know Sonya is guilty of that, or someone who's not black. And I highly do not believe that the white people who watch my channel who are progressive to be into your girl and who are enlightened and intelligent to be part of bougie gang would write such dribble because they already know what type of shit show situation this is. No white person who watches my channel who hits subscribe would write something like this. Okay. That's not that type of person that comes here. So I am accusing one person of doing this and she wears thrift store ponytails okay yes i'll say it black people acting like this people are saying no one cares about sonya I, why sh i don't like is sonya behind bars has sonya been in jail for one year eight months hold on one second let me find it um what is so july <laughs> Ju was it july 7 2022 to today okay hold on we're on how long ago? We're on how long ago? Okay. How long ago go.com. Okay. Sonia, have you been in jail one year, seven months, five days, which is 585? Have you been in jail 585 days? Okay. 84 weeks. Have you been? Okay. Um, People are saying no one cares about Sonia. What I what an awful thing to say about someone. I'm sure people care just like they care about all the other side pieces who had long-term full relationships, including vacations, money exchanges, cheating, sleepovers, you name it, with a married man, even when they knew he was married. If it weren't for the selective outrage, it might, I might agree with most of it. If hypocrisy was a crime, you all would be locked the hell up. <laughs> Who would say that, Sonia? I got to stop watching this in 2024. Reminds me of the 1980s. 
It reminds me of the 1980s. Who's always talking about the 80s and the 90s, guys? Say no to drugs commercial. This is your brain on drugs. Every minute of this destroys another brain cell. Say no to gossip, slander, defamation, doxing family members. Who? Why? Why do people bring this bullshit over here to my channel? Why do they bring this over here? Can you leave me alone and don't comment this on my channel, please? I said, ma'am, she went live for one hour talking about the case and YouTube. Let's be serious and not willfully ignorant that she enjoys talking to people she doesn't know and wants to be seen. <laughs> if she did not want, if she did not, why be live from the food court in <laughs> Why was Sonya live from live from the food court in Vegas? And ma'am, this is what I'm going to do because I really need for you to not come play on my channel anymore. I'm going to have to let you go, okay? Number one, I'm going to report you. I'm going to have to report you. Uh, maybe I'm going to just give you some mercy and I'm going to hide you, but I really want to hit the report button because you don't get to come slant. You don't get to come and drop fake news in my comments, but you, you can't comment over here anymore. And if you come back, we just know it's you, Sonia, but I'm going to give you a break. But since you want to stop, since you said, I got to stop watching in 2024, you said this. Okay. I got to stop watching in 2024. I thank you for the view. And I thank you for the watch time. I'm going to put you out your misery. Therefore, if you're watching, you don't get to comment over here, okay? So guess what? You're gone. You're gone. And look, and another one. Would you would you ever interview the alleged victims? Why? What is this person nuts or what? Is this nuts? Would you ever interview the alleged victims because they are allegedly criminals as they as well? And something is very fishy about giving a man your entire paid off car without having a key, having the keys to another one to take its place immediately. PPP loan scams allegedly. Yeah, the YouTube streets need an exorcism, as DT would say on both sides. I don't care. I'm not following your agenda. Could you please leave my comment section alone? I'm sorry. I cannot. I cannot. I will not. If you come to my comments with some weird shit, I'm blocking you. Like, it's not even that I'm blocking you for any other reason other than you can't live in my comment section. You just can't. You can't. I don't want you in here. Okay, please don't come with that bullshit up in here. Okay. We want this is this is soft news. This is this is housewife, mommy. I'm trying to get through the day at my at my stressful corporate job. I just need a laugh with a bit of serious. The way I dispense and talk about the news is my fucking business over here. Do you hear me? How I do it is how I do it. If you want real news. Go to CNN, go to HLN, go to MSN, go to Fox, go any, go anywhere but here. This is for people who want to use their brain, but they want to laugh a little bit. They want to get a little bit of levity with the calamity. Ain't nobody starting shit. Ain't nobody pulling up. None of that. We're just having a fun time talking about not so fun topics in a way that is palatable to us. And if you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to comment and you don't have to watch. You really don't. Um, but to con to be so mad at what's going on, over I'm just a little teeny tiny speck of a corner on the YouTube streets. I'm just a little teeny tiny corner on the YouTube streets. Can you please not drop your dribble in my comments and, you know, work on not being so mad? I'm going to drop the link, boo-boo. 
I see somebody asked for the membership link. Um, give me just a second. I'm finding it. Just one second. Um, it's just really unfortunate that people feel so unheard that they have to like just, I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's just very, it's very strange to me. And I just, I don't go and comment in places where I just, I use my, I use my discernment before I go and drop like a comment that could be like an unpopular opinion. Um, but you know, there are people who just, just want to antagonize, right? Uh, let me see. Okay. That's the member join link. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyone who wants to join, you're welcome to do so. This is an open, just subscriber only. Um, so I appreciate anyone who wants to come through and support. It's very much appreciated. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you on a Monday. Okay, let's see. Well, there are some other comments that were interesting. Um, did I drop the um, the call in? Anybody who wants to call in? This is, I mean, I just really, I blame, um, number one, I blame Sonia. I'm, I'm blaming, Sonia gets all the blame for everything for me. The real nurse, Jackie. Um, actually one of my most favorite TV shows. Um, I love Nurse Jackie. Um, Nurse Jackie, thank you so much for supporting sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you for um making it official and putting your money where your news is. If this is where you get your your real true crime, some of your true crime news on the YouTube streets, thank you. Okay. Okay, God created black. What? Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very much for you um, putting your money where your news is. Okay. Me, me, me just got gifted. Okay. Mimi, drop a comment and let us see you, sis. Uh, Mimi just got pulled right out the bushes. Okay. That's one thing that these giftings do. They pull you, they're going to pull you right up out these bushes. Okay. Go come on, say hi to the people, sis. Okay. Thank you, God created black. And Mimi just got pulled out the bushes. And Mimi, we love you, sis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And congratulations. Um, I dropped a couple of member-only videos this weekend. Go and enjoy. Real nurse Jackie, enjoy. Okay. Mimi's probably like, oh, I didn't even know they was gonna be calling my name. Let me get, let me get over to my keyboard and say hello. <laughs> They done called me out. Yes, we did, sis. Okay. Uh-oh. Reef and Muff's mom. Okay. Who who got plucked from the bushes? Um, the Makita method. Makita method. What? You have been plucked from the bushes. And it's official. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Shanna. Welcome. Shanna made it official. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let us, okay, let us say hello. How is everybody doing? Another membership and another membership. Um, Reef and Reef and Muff's mom. Wait, Reef and Muff's mom. Oh, Stacy, that first twin. Stacy, that first twin got gifted. What? Okay, sis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is this is this a whole membership a thon on a Monday? Um, we're just getting ready for members and months. See, Reef and Muff's mom wants to drop them one at a time. Okay. Johnny S was gifted. Okay, period. Let me let me get caught up with these with these so I can uh my goodness. Okay, so real nurse Jackie gifted, uh God created black gifted. Um, Reef and Muff's mom gifted one. Shanna became a new member. Reef and Muff gifted again and then gifted again. Okay. Thank you so much. Johnny S got gifted. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for coming through. Um, just know if you're out there in the bushes when these memberships drop, you might get pulled up out these bushes. Okay, girl. Um, a dub, welcome, welcome, welcome. We see you. You're never too late. Um, hi, Mary Short. Hey, what's going on? Petty Patty said, What? Just Gabby, guess what? 
just Gabby, guess what? You just got gifted. Okay. <laughs> oh God, you guys are so fun. You got you just got gifted and petty patty. Thank you, sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? This makes this makes uh Sonya mad because you know what? Sonya couldn't even make a hundred dollars in a GoFundMe for a man who's been sitting in jail. Um 585 days, 19 months, 84 weeks. Well, it's 19 months, uh, 585 days. Guess what? They break it all the way down. Hold on. 19 months, 585 days, 14,030 hours. Um, for those of you who have the vapors, Sonia, it's been 841,846 minutes. Or it's been 50,510,810 hours since you, since your boo thing has been sitting over there in Cobb County. Okay. Sorry, sis. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, sis. Okay. GC just gifted a membership. Let's see. You guys are like making it rain in the membership. Let's see. Uh, Mary Short got it. Mary Short, you got gifted, sis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my God. Um, let's see. And also what I'm going to say is this too. Anybody who's in the chat at this moment, guess what? You've been a member for at least an hour. <laughs> okay. You've been a member for at least an hour. That way, anybody who's running around trying to create new pass, you new not uh new sign-ons because they got the boot from the chat. Guess what? They can't do. <laughs> they can't drop in. They got to wait for an hour. And by the time you get it together, well, we will have already signed off. Okay. Um, how do you receive a gift? I th you just I think I don't know what you have to do. I'm be honest. Um, if you click on my join link. Um, which I dropped not too long ago. Click on the, I'll, I'll, um, you have to click on it. And then you click the three buttons in the top right. And I think it gives like, it gives you a couple of options. Like, do you want to be eligible for member prizes or things like that? That's all you have to do because when anyone gifts a membership, what's going to happen is the computer automatically um, selects it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm a true crime junkie. And since you're in South Carolina, um, I really hoped you plan on covering the rose petals murder in South Carolina. I'm going to have to check in. Let's look it up. Um, I'm actually in North Carolina, but it's close. You know, I'm in Charlotte. So, um, we're pretty much, we're pretty much in South Carolina. We're not, you know, we're not South Carolina, but I'm close enough to South Carolina to almost be South Carolina. Um, but yes, let me do something. I'm going to gift you guys some memberships. Let's see who was the person who asked. I don't know. The computer does the automatic selection, so I can't promise you anything. Um, but since you guys are gifting, then I guess I'm going to go ahead and gift some too. So give me just a second. Um, I was gifted and would like to gift a membership. What do you do? So what you do is, uh, hold on. I have to do it while I tell you, cause I just learned how to do it myself. Um, okay. To gift a membership, what you do is click on the dollar sign. Like you're going to do a cash app or something. Um, hold on. I'll show you guys. All right. I'm clicking into my own live just a second. Okay. All right, so okay. Um, share this tab. Okay, so right here, right? I'm in the live. You see this, guys? Ooh. Okay, this is the live right here, right? Okay, scroll down and then you okay, hit the dollar sign. Excuse me, Shirley. All right, let me move Shirley. Let me move Miss Shirley. <laughs> okay, hit the dollar sign, right? And it's going to say uh, super stickers, super chat, 
memberships and membership gifting. And if you want a gift, you just do that, right? And it's going to ask you what you want to gift. And then you pick what you want to gift. And when you pick that, it's going to run you to whatever your payment options are on your account. Um, so give me just a minute because I'm going to do my payment option in private. Um, Okay. And then it's going to say, ooh, ooh, Real Talk Bougie just gifted five memberships. Woo, 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 woo. And then it's going to give me uh, Benita Barbie, Jay Washington, TMJ2467, Patricia Sims, and Kay Jones. You just got gifted. Okay. All right. Okay. And we're back. Um, okay. So Danny IRL set, sent me a super sticker. Thank you. Um, so Lisa Lulu wants us to talk about the Rose Petals murder. Let me write that down. Um, we need to be talking about James Wade too, um, who got, I'm going to have to write a list. Because there's other stuff to talk about. Make no mistake, Sonia's not, you know, we're not concerned about Sonia. Sonia is the last on everybody's list. I mean, at least on mine. I'm going to speak for myself at this moment. Nobody cares about Sonia. And I mean that not that nobody cares about like her life and her walk or whatever. It's not that, it's not that type of party. At the end of the day, she's not relevant enough. But since she seems as though she wants to be, um, let her, let her, let her just let her do what she wants to do. Nobody, nobody's paying attention, right? That's, that's all I'm saying. So people want, if people want to be offended, I feel like some people are just looking for a reason to be offended and that's just it. And that's all. If you want to be offended and feel some type of way for this lady and you want to show her some compassion that there's nothing wrong with that. There's abs. I would never fault anybody for doing that. I don't care. You know what I mean? <laughs> I really don't. Um, it's okay. You know, I don't, I find it odd that people like that. She's so concerned with how other people feel because even though she says she's not, she very much is. Um, so rose petals. I'm right. I wrote it down. Okay. And let me do some research on that and then we'll talk about it. Um, okay. Let's get back to what we were doing. Um, where was this other? So there was a very strange person who was in the comments and I had to let them go. Um, because there's just, there's just no room for any of that over here. At the end of the day, we do take a very lighthearted approach and I mean, there's people who like all of the serious true crime coverage that's on YouTube and they have problems with channels like Emily D. Baker. Emily D. Baker is very lighthearted with it. She's very much a professional in my opinion, um, but there's people who have an issue with how she does things. El Boogie, you just got gifted, okay? Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I hope that you enjoy your membership. Let me see the other ones. Um, there's you know, I'm not into the lead attorney at all. I'm going to be honest. I don't enjoy his channel very much because I find him a little light on his research. Um, East Coast Coco, welcome, welcome, welcome. You got gifted by Afia Vlogs. Thank you, Afia. Thank you so much for supporting and gifting. Um, Fitz News has a mini documentary series on it. Yeah, I do watch the Fit New Fitz News. Um, I started following them from the Murdoch murder trials. Um, so check out Fitz News. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Carol Chamberlain, thank you so much. And Carol gifted Miss T. Thank you so much, um, Carol Chamberlain. And Miss T, I hope that you enjoy. You got gifted, sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you enjoy that. Um, Steph is a new member guys. I'm going to have to go ahead and give you guys a little sprinkle. 
Okay, because you guys are doing the most up in here. Steph, welcome. Hey, Steph. Welcome, Steph. Thank you for making it official. And I hope that you enjoy. We put up I put feel like I put up a good amount of content this weekend. So there's stuff for you guys to watch and members. Make no mistake. Um, there's a lot of videos in there. So you guys have at it and enjoy. Um, Bonita Barbie says, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So enjoy, sis. Um, okay. I totally like. Hey, Vicky. Boo boo. Boo boo. Thank you. Thank you. Vicky is a very much of a contributor around here. Thank you so much. Guys, and you know what? If you are a member already, you may not know how to do this. Let's do this too. Let me show you guys how to do something. Um, I can't do it because I'm not a member on my own channel, but um, let me show you guys this. If you are a member already and it's been at least a month, hit your dollar sign and it's going to say membership milestone or something. Member, like right here, it's going to, under membership, it's going to be your member milestone. Okay. So that's something that's a, and you can type something in there too. So Shay right here, Shay just dropped her member milestone and she typed in anyone interested in the three chiefs football fans that were frozen i don't what what happened anyone interested in the three chiefs football fans that were frozen three people were frozen what happened wow that's crazy i didn't even hear about that that's crazy i had no idea um okay uh let me okay so vicky welcome 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 Pretty Frugal Diva, thank you. And Spicy Delight, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and... Okay, thank you, you guys. Um, appreciate the bougie commentary. CA just came through with her member Milestone. Okay, you guys are showing out, okay? CA member milestone. Thank you for doing that. And I appreciate you supporting. Okay. Um, so let's see chiefs fans, chiefs fans frozen outside was that couldn't have been in Vegas at Kansas City, Missouri, a Kansas city, Missouri homeowner whose three friends frozen bodies were found in the backyard two days after they gathered to watch a Kansas City Chiefs game had no knowledge of the tragedy unfolding in his backyard earlier this month. I feel like I heard about this, according to his attorney. Why didn't they leave? Like, if you were at a neighbor's house, isn't your car parked somewhere? What Were they just drunk? I'm not even trying. I mean, this is strange. Like, I've seen people, like, Back in the day, my brother was a Boy Scout and he got frostbite on two of his big toes um, on a camping trip. Hold on a second. Uh, are we here? Okay. Three Kansas City Chiefs fans, and I only mention that because of the rest of the story were found frozen to death in their own friend's backyard. And the friend claims he had no idea they were there for two days. Two days, then. Karen has more details on this one. Really unusual case. They all came over for a big party for a game. You know, it's just the five friends coming over to watch the game together. So now the Kansas City police are awaiting the results of autopsies and toxicology from the medical examiner to determine the cause of death and how to proceed with the investigation. So the three men, all in their mid to late 30s, healthy guys there, go over to their buddy's house, whose name is Jordan Willis, and they watch the game, Chiefs Chargers, on January 7th. Then nobody sees them, and all of the families get really, really worried, and they go over and they knock on the door, and no one answers. Finally, one of the fiancés goes over, breaks into the house, 
finds a body on the back porch, calls police. They find the other two men frozen in the backyard. So then the homeowner tells police he saw his friends leave through the front door that night. He went to bed. He sleeps with headphones on and a loud fan. Didn't hear anything. Didn't hear anybody knocking on his door. Said he stayed inside all day Monday and worked from home on Tuesday. And he was used to his friends leaving cars at his place. who so didn't think anything of it. Didn't see the text from the worried family members. But the men's families and a fifth friend who was also there that night are not buying that account. I'm furious. Everybody's furious. Nobody believes this story. I personally think they got drugged and were drug out the back door and put in the backyard. I want to know exactly what happened. This is a cover-up. Something's, something's wrong with the, with the picture. These are his buddies. Had he seen those guys out there, he would have gotten them help immediately. So the families accuse the homeowner, Willis, and his attorney of changing their story about, you know, did they see them and sewed him out the door? Did he just go up to bed? So Willis has since moved out of the house. And again, we're still awaiting those reports on the toxicology because people want to see if drugs were involved in any case right. and what happened. But it's a very um, bizarre. Correct. Can, it's like, can I finish my sentence? I was trying to use my... I was trying to use my drop the mic word and you had to say bizarre. Toxicology will be so important. Toxicology is going to be so important. Look, um, you're working from home. Like I have two dogs and I see my backyard. I don't always go over to the side yard, but I see the yard. Like we see our yard. Okay. How do you have someone dead on the back patio unalive? on the back patio and not know it. Can you tell me? He's a scientist. Who's a scientist? The man is a scientist. Supposedly he slept for two days. It sounds like, um, it sounds like a case of coca Nina. It sounds like, Drugs, it sounds fishy. That's what I'm going to say. He is a liar. He was the one mixing the, ooh, 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 ooh. Well, okay. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was a drug-induced heavy sleep. And that was it. Okay. Well, he was, so he wasn't a scientist. You're saying he's a chemist. Okay. All righty then. Interesting. Um, Wow. Okay, that is a wow shocker of a story. I'm not even going to lie. That is a shocker story. And my God, um, I don't even know what else to say on that one. That shocked the hell out of me. Um, let me see. There was another news story. Did I? Hold on. Uh, since we're. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm like, y'all, that kind of, so I heard about that story, but I hadn't really, I didn't like get all the way up into it. Um, but I heard that and I just am kind of like, that's unfortunate. Um, it's yeah. I don't even know what to say. That's, that's a crazy ass story. Like, let's just be real here. Um, I'm dumbfounded. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Who has three people in the backyard for two days dead? That doesn't even, that doesn't really fly. Okay. It's a very creepy story. I don't even know what to say. Um, do you guys want to watch a couple more creepy news stories? Cause I, I was watching some creepy news. Um, well, this was, um, I'm not going to show this one. Um, this is a this is a a story. It's not funny, but it's definitely weird. Um, there is a mother in Allen, Texas. Um, the kids just got taken out of the home, um, and the neighbors were like, "Oh yeah, they were renting." I mean, it's like that's all they had to say was, "Oh yeah, they were renting." Like. <laughs> 
The kids were outside unattended and I think they were renting like neighbors are so weird. Um, and maybe that's just the way of saying we didn't know them very well. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me get, let me get the story. Okay. Hold on. Ooh. ooh. It's like, I, okay. This is a, I'm going to give a trigger warning on this one. Cause this is not a pleasant story. Um, mom is crazy. Like, let's make no mistake. This lady is nuts. And it is, uh, there's abuse going on, um, in the home. So trigger warning, if you are sensitive to that type of this type of information, um, but you know, this is going to provide some awareness because people do need to know that this type of, uh, shenanigans are still, it, it, this exists. Okay. And there are kids that are in distress in their homes. Right. Um, unfortunately there's mental illness is real. Okay. Um, and if you didn't know that just a healthy dose of the YouTube streets, you should know that. Okay. Um, okay. Let's, let me share this tab. This we're in Allen, Texas now guys. Okay. This week by SWAT officers during a standoff at a home terrorized her children. What started as an investigation into an assault involving her husband revealed horrific cases of abuse. Fox face Peyton Yeager is in Allen tonight with more on the story. Peyton. Stephen Allen police tell me they have responded to this Allen home 11 times in this new year. The children, they were removed from the home last month and immediately interviewed. The children told investigators that their mom often would state that she was going to kill all of them. Inside this Allen home off Tanglewood Drive, police say six children were being tormented by their mother, 36-year-old Lul Top. Top was taken into custody Monday morning. After Girl, a SWAT knocked down the Alan whole SWAT. front door. Police were there to arrest her on six felony warrants for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon for what they say she did to her six children. Now, that was a decent sized house. Do you see that had to be, I would say, at least 35 to 4,000 square feet. These people are living in a nice home, they've got a fully fenced yard. Um, not that that makes a difference because you can live in any type of a home and have a nightmare going on on the inside. Um, but this was not necessarily a case of poverty, but the man went, uh, the man was gone. Daddy was gone from the house because clearly there's some mental health issues going on and maybe the mental health issues are going on on his side too. Like we don't know the whole full story but clearly there's a problem going on. Okay. Now I always love when I'm watching a news story and it's the, um, the neighbor from across the street is kept capturing the footage. And that's exactly what's going on here. The neighbor is capturing the whole SWAT situation. Okay, let's go. Alan SWAT was called in after top barricaded herself in the attic. Cell phone video from a neighbor shows top with her hands behind her back. Court documents show four weeks earlier on January 8th, police and CPS launched a child abuse investigation when Top's husband called them to the home because she was beating him with a stick and that all of the children witnessed it. Top mm. was arrested. The children were taken into CPS custody and Top later bonded out. The arrest warrant affidavit for the child assaults reveals the terror Top allegedly caused her children. They were interviewed after her arrest for assaulting her husband. They told investigators their mother often drank alcohol, and if she ever ran out of alcohol, she would threaten them. A three-year-old disclosed Top had tried to put her inside the oven that was turned on. Police say... Ma'am was crazy. I mean, let's make no mistake. Ma'am is certified nuts, and maybe she has... You know, some people have a disease... Um, when they drink alcohol, they turn psychotic. I I don't know. It's like some sort of act chemical activation. Like there are people out here who literally should not drink for many reasons, but there are some who have a chemical reaction to alcohol that makes them absolutely psychotically nuts. And maybe she's got that because to do such an, a you know, just like 
gosh, it's like atrocious, egregious, just uh, violent, um, alcohol induced psychosis. That might be what it is. Um, extra AF. She, and that that is extra AF. As a matter of fact, um, yeah. It, I don't even think it's angry drunk, Davida. I think it's more so like no one in their right mind, even a drunk so, drunk mind, would do such a awful thing. So just, you know, like I said, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning, okay? Um, but I'm going to give you guys a spoiler. The kids are safe and they are with family. So don't worry, okay? Um, it's like a couple, one more minute. The kids are safe, okay? Kids are safe. Now, say one of the siblings, a 10 year old, started physically fighting his mother to get the three year old away from the heated oven. The three year old and her four year old sibling were asked about scars on their body. Both children told investigators their mother used a knife to cut them. They said their mother would become angry and threaten to cut their hands and fingers off with a cleaver knife if they didn't help her find alcohol. One boy told detectives his mother once held the knife to his tongue. Plus, the boy said his mother made him drink alcohol, but he spit it out. Police said the children These took poor it upon kids. themselves. Her name is Low Top. Let me write her name down. We might have to follow her case, see what's going on here. She's She is not fit. Hopefully, she... You know, I hate this for the kids... And I'm going to just say it. These kids don't need to see her again for a very long time. You know what I mean? Ma'am needs, ma'am needs some very, very, very strict and monitored. Gar She's a lunatic. Absolutely. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be, uh, sis needs help. Sis needs, she needs, um, well, I think she needs she needs to go to jail. She probably is going to go to jail for uh, child endangerment and all of the things. But ma'am needs very much like some counseling. She's in a very horrible state. Okay, let's just finish this up real quick. But yeah, this is bad. This is very bad news. Um, okay. To hide the knives away from their mother. It helps when we break always up the story in thirds. There. Listen the to the neighbor. Are always there. Neighbor William Whitney says just a few days before the stand. William, you gave out your whole name on the crazy black lady that lives across the street. Don't you know she might have some crazy family? Mr. William Whitney, why you do that? <laughs> he had a strange encounter. Whitney says Top and another woman knocked on his door and asked to borrow Wi-Fi. Seeing the kids. She came with a piece of paper and a pen. Do you imagine you got some new people that came to the neighborhood and they want to ask you, can they, you borrow the Wi-Fi? I would be like, ma'am, if you don't get up off my stoop, ma'am, no, we pay for this. You got to be, can we borrow your wi We noticed that I can pick up your Wi-Fi for my, I, hi, I'm living in the 4,000 square foot house across the street. Can I borrow can I have your password for your Wi-Fi? Playing out here by themselves, no supervision. And to know that was actually happening down there is yeah. sad. Top is in the Collin County Jail this evening. Again, she's charged with six felony counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon for the violence against the children. Now, I spoke with multiple neighbors who witnessed that SWAT standoff on Monday. They tell me that specific family, they were renting that home in Allen, and they moved in about a year ago. Mm. A okay. co-defendant in the election interference indictment oh, well, we against may as well former watch president this Donald too, Trump huh? has more to say. Michael Roman claims Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis and special prosecutor Nathan Wade were dating before she was sworn in back in 2021. Stop lying. No, Meantime, I'm just state senators <laughs> investigating Willis over her alleged improper relationship with Wade met for the first time. They are trying to see if any laws were broken. The committee could hear from whistleblowers inside of Willis's own office. This panel does have subpoena power, so they can also compel Willis to testify. Republicans want to hear from her, but Democrats think she can and should try to fight it. It's not a given. No. You know, if I will certainly give her the opportunity, you know, and if I were her, I would want to be her. Some of it is very personal. Um, okay, Gloria Butler, stand up. I just don't think she would participate in it. Now, just this week, Willis fought against a subpoena that would compel her to testify in Fulton County Superior. Vicky, you said Miss Mrs. Top was a, is a Section Eight person. 
Um, hey, T.D. Will, how are you? Um, you think she was, oh, she was renting that house and she didn't have Wi-Fi, so you think she was Section 8? Because, yeah, if you're renting like a 4,000 square foot house, that house was big. Okay, that house looked, just my eyeballs was saying about at least 35 to 4,000. Um, how do you not have Wi-Fi? You got six kids in the house. Don't they have to do homework? Okay, because everything is on the computer. Like, my daughter has a bunch of workbooks, but everything, all of her assignments, everything, the workbook, she has a workbook, but you put all your answers, your home tests, your writing, journaling, all that stuff is all in the computer, right? Um, why would they mention she was renting on the news? Okay, that's what I'm saying. Maybe because... You know, they they go and um, look, if something happens on your block, they're going to come ring your bell and say, do you know them? Have you had any? Well, I don't know. No, I don't know them. They just moved in not too long ago. Um, is it relevant? No, it's I mean, it's not relevant to me, but it's I thought it was interesting when I pulled up the story. Um, and I was watching, I thought that was like a messy detail. Um, okay. I got one more messy kind of story. If you guys are from Houston, I was going to show this tomorrow, but we'll talk about it today, um, here. And then we're going to probably go a little more in tomorrow. Um, sis just dropped a gifted membership ship, Sagittarius vibes. Thank you, sis. And TD will guess what TD will TD will just dropped in and guess what? You just got gifted by sis, okay? Okay? Sagittarius, thank you. And TD Will, congratulations. Okay? All right. Here's another one. Let's just do this real quick. I did drop the call in. A lot of people wondering what is going on with the what is going on with the popular restaurant being played out in public. Fox 26 business reporter Tom Ziska live in the third ward outside the turkey leg hut where a co-founder has been fired, staff laid off and paychecks are missing. Tom. Paychecks are missing. Rashi, a lot of moving pieces here. The turkey leg hut made a splash when it was founded in 25 2015 by husband and wife team Lynn Price and Nakia Holmes. Last year, there were headlines about the couple's separation while they continued to operation, operate the business together until yesterday. From its home on Almeda Road, the Turkey Leg Hut lunch crowd is not the long wait that the popular restaurant can be known for, but as diners enjoy a nice day on the patio, all is not well at the restaurant. Co-founder Lynn Price posted on Instagram a now deleted copy of an email from a management consultant that gave him his walking papers from the company, reading your employment with your employment your employment with Turkey Leg Hut is being terminated effective immediately. Do you imagine having a business with your husband and um, Sir gets notified via email that he's fired from the business. Welcome new members. Thank you, sis. Thank you, Overcomer, um, for supporting. Guys, I cannot even keep up. You guys are really amazing. Rhonda, thank you so much. Did Rhonda gift? Rhonda dropped her two-month membership milestone. Okay. Thank you, sis. Thank you very much. Um and let's see, Leandra gifted a membership. Leandra gifted and Seamoss body. Seamoss, did you know that um, Sonia's ponytail told us that our bodies are 80% Seamoss, which that's not true. That's not true. Uh, Sonia's Timu shopping cart. She needs to start being honest. Wait, she just needs to start being, wait, where am I? She, I'm like, what screen am I looking at, guys? If you saw my current setup, you'd be like, my God. Um, she needs to start being honesty with herself, okay? That is coming from Sonia's Timu shopping cart. You guys are, you guys are doing Okay, guys, if you've been to Houston, the Turkey Leg Hut, there is some turmoil going on at the Turkey Leg Hut. The couple who founded the restaurant just to get, get this back on track. <laughs> Glorious, do that damn thing, girl. Okay, one month. Yes, Glorious. Um, the Turkey Leg Hut, the founders are in the shits. 
they have separated and ma'am had sir served at the job okay do you imagine starting a business with your boo only to find out that when it goes wrong between you two guess what you got served at the job and escorted out by a sheriff let's listen to what happened I need to run something over this. So cut is being terminated effective immediately. It reads the firing is just one of several personnel changes at the company, citing a financial review after the discovery of potential mismanagement. The Turkey Leg Hut owner Nakia Holmes says in a statement to Fox 26, unfortunately, we quickly uncovered financial discrepancies that demanded immediate action. Mm. That okay. Included two firings, six people laid off, and what, what she insists is a two-week payroll delay. But an employee who does not want to show his face <laughs> says he's gone more than six weeks without a paycheck, owed more than a thousand dollars. We keep behind on bills like rent, light bill, water bill. It's just it's becoming a hassle trying to get what's owed to you. Bill, it's just. I'm sorry, and I'm not trying to be funny. Did he say six weeks already, and it's a thousand dollars? Light bill, water bill. It's Hold on. Dollars. We keep behind on bills like rent. Without a paycheck, a face says he's gone more than six weeks without a paycheck. Six weeks and a thousand dollars. So maybe he works part time, but six weeks and a thousand dollars. I don't know what I would have to go take money out of my personal account. There is no way that I could have somebody coming to work that is waiting for a thousand dollar paycheck and had to work six weeks to earn a thousand dollars that I would even be able to sleep at night to let somebody not have their money. There's no way. And maybe I don't know what her husband was doing that they had to let him go right away, but I would have to get some sort of a emergency loan or take my own money to level set so that the people can have their money. If you're driving up in your nice, good car, your Mercedes, your Audi, your Porsche, your whatever, and these people are working six weeks to make a thousand dollars, that's like $150, $200 a week or something. That's awful. That is awful. And someone who's waiting, I mean, I mean, these could be young people, college students, things like that. Um, there's no way. There's no way. And if this restaurant is still like, as soon as people start hearing that people aren't getting paid at the establishment and nobody going to go eat over there. Nobody wants to support that. If I'm paying you, you pay them. How do you not pay your servers? That's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm kind of, I'm like really disgusted by that. But anyway, let's keep going. Yeah. Owed more than a thousand dollars. We keep behind on bills like rent, light bill, water bill. It's just, it's becoming a hassle trying to get what's owed to you. You should not give up on the money that's yours, regardless of the amount. Fox 26 legal analyst Chris Tritico says affected employees have a strong argument to get their money if the employer drags its feet. From court filings to complaints to the Department of Labor, there are avenues to collect, especially with the business still in operation. It does not, however, lessen the immediate hardship for employees waiting on a promise to be paid. My creditors aren't going to be as nice as you're asking me to be to you, and they're not going to wait. So Courtney, the employee, says it is a challenge continuing to come to work, not knowing when the next pay. I wouldn't go. I, my That happened to my younger sister um, many, many years ago. She was working uh, with a company in New York, and um, I just told her, I said, I wouldn't even go in anymore. Like, you know, asking me from an HR standpoint, I'm like, you're not obligated. Like, this is beyond ridiculous. And no, absolutely not. I would not even go back. Like, just start looking for another job. Because sometimes companies, if they get that far behind on payroll, it's like falling off a cliff. And if they can't, the, I mean, if you can't meet payroll from a business standpoint, your business is done. You're done. You're done. If you don't, if you, it, when they, 
let me tell you something. If you're in bookkeeping, right, and you are in the payables department and you start noticing that the company is not paying their bills, run. Because as soon as the the uh, U.S. foods and late, late uh, internet or VSOP providers or uniforms or whatever, when you notice the company is late on paying their bills, honey, the next is you because then payroll is affected. If they are short on cash, run. Do not let them, don't let your labor be in vain holding out a hope and a wish and a this and that and a third, because trust me, it's going to be a problem. I'm so grateful and thankful. I've never had that issue in my life. I've always worked for very large companies, so I've never had that problem. But people who work for small companies, I'm telling you, it is a red flag that if you happen to notice that there is some financial issues with the company that you're with and they're not addressing them right away and making you feel comfortable get the fuck up out of there because you going to work for two weeks and not getting paid in those two weeks, you could have found another job. That's it. Um, but clearly there's some problems. So this is what we heard so far. The Turkey leg in Houston, um, the husband was terminated via a business manager. Um, and this is how it ended. So he and his wife got separated there was some mismanagement of money. They they terminated him via email and listen to how the last little bit, okay? Because ma'am is pissed. I don't know if he was cheating. I don't know what the man did, but listen to how he was dismissed off the property. Check this out. A check will come. Owner Nakia Holmes says she does plan to address those backlogged paychecks promptly her word there and hopes to invite those laid off employees back to work by later in the summer. Meantime, the drama continues here behind me. We were informed this afternoon that Lynn Price, the co-founder, was served divorce papers right behind me and escorted off the premises by a deputy. <laughs> in Third Ward tonight, I'm Tom Ziska, Fox 26 News. He was escorted off the property with a sheriff and he was served with divorce papers. Sis ain't playing Nakia Holmes girl hold on a second Nakia Holmes girl you didn't give that man any mercy okay you had him fired you had him escorted off the property and sis had him served with the divorce papers over there at the turkey leg in Houston, girl. I would, if I were in Houston right now, I might would go get a table just to go get a temperature check of the staff and be like, hey, have you got paid? I saw a news story. Like, are you guys good over here? I'm gonna tip you real good. Okay. Where's Miss Holmes? Can she come out? And I'm a blogger from YouTube. I would love to talk to her. Do you think she's available for an interview? He got somebody pregnant. Oh, yeah, that's divorce papers, fired, and the sheriff is coming. Oh, yeah, yes, he deserves all that. Girl, we might have to, Nakia, Holmes, and um, Lynn Price. Whose husband name is Lynn? Okay, that's about like your husband. I mean, okay, Shannon, like Shannon Sharp, but... Whose husband out there has a girl's name? Okay. Um, I think it's Daniel Lynn Price divorce. This is going to be about like the Gail and, um, and Harold Lewis divorce. Okay. We might have to look that divorce up. So they said he got someone pregnant. Damn. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Are we back on Nesto again? <laughs> How long have we been on here? Okay, hour and 10 minutes. Do you guys have anything to say? Um, I know Thursday is our call-in day, but let's... Um, I'm going to drop the link again. I think the link is up here. Oh, that's the member... That might be the member join link. I'm not sure. I'm going to drop the... Uh, I'm going to drop the call-in. Um, look. 
All I'm going to say, and I said this earlier, I'm going to say it one more time. I think um, Sonia definitely um, is a chaos monger and shit starter. And that's just my opinion. And not to say that any of the things that have happened wouldn't have happened had she not put stuck her pinky toe in it. But I think she's a I think she's a chaos monger. <laughs> and I think that she is no bueno and um she doesn't have to like how people are reporting. She doesn't have to like what people are reporting. If Sonia has messy subscribers that love to run her tea and um screenshots in business, that is her affair. Um, both literally and figuratively. And if she doesn't like to be talked about, my suggestion, because I never tell anyone not to come to the YouTube streets, show up less. How about that? Um, Thessie, welcome to the chat, sis. What do you have to say? Hello, friend and bougie. Hi, Thessie. Hi, bougie. Hey, <laughs> hey, bougie friend. What's going on? Okay, so... I just really kind of want to put a comment out there. And so I want um, all the wonderful members of the Bougie Gang to just think about it. And maybe when we get together on another day, maybe we can take a little pose. Okay. So, you just, you're just dropping like some food for thought. Is that yeah. what it is? Well, yeah, I do want some feedback, but not immediately. Thessie would like you guys to marinate on this. Okay. Marinate, marinate. on this. Yes. Marinade. <laughs> okay. What All is right. it? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I need to know if there's anybody else in bougie land that could think even for a moment that Sonya is some kind of doggone spy. And I will tell you why. First of all, it's just not possible for anybody to be this stupid. It's just not possible. Mm. Secondly, the way she moves. Now, all this little stuff, you know how it is when sometimes when a person might be guilty of a certain thing, but then they get in trouble for something else. Um, it seems that Nesto's been... Well, here's the deal. With the way he's been handling business over multiple years, why is it that once she come on the scene, all of a sudden he sh he's arrested? Mm. And then thirdly, she seems to be an operative because she gets any and everybody out the way. She's cleared out the whole slate of people. When she first came on the scene after she hunted him down, she, the first thing she came out was saying, he's not getting any support. Well, his wife was paying his bills. His friends were saying, call me anytime. His son was talking to him, his best friend. What do you mean he has no, no support? Well, now he has no support. And when the blogger was cool until the blogger started visiting and stuff and now she got that person out the way so and then the next point is now that she's removed everybody she's just constantly dropping just way more information than is necessary she is spilling i mean i i don't know if um if she's necessarily working for the prosecution but i feel like she's working for somebody I don't know mm. if Steve even dropped her in there to get him out of Shirley's life. Because if you go back and look at stuff that Mary Harvey was saying, you know, they were doing some different things. Okay. Mm. I don't know who, but it just seems she's just too convenient. And then she'll pick up and move here. She's right 15 minutes away from the jail. She's in everything. She she seems like she is setting this man up to be in jail for a long time. And I don't know at whose bequest, but it just seems like she's just too wacky to be that wacky. Mm. 
Well, but this is whoever said, let's just say with your theory. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, this person would have to be going for the long game because she's been in this li dangerous liaison for a minute. It's been uh -huh. at least a couple, two, three years now that she's known this guy. He, he's been in jail for a year and a half and she knew him about a year, two years prior. Right. Uh -huh. So, um, it's possible. I mean, I'm not throwing it out. You just said we need to marinate. So we'll yeah. maybe we'll have a, a a further discussion about is Sonia the ops? Let's do that. Let me write that down. Is Sonia the ops? Are you, can I ask you a question? Are yes. you buying the Sonia is a victim? I, I, I'm not buying Sonia is a victim. I'm not buying that there, I don't have, I didn't, call anyone to confer with anyone uh -huh. um, about anything that I chose to talk about today. I work alone. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, nobody is, there's no group. There's no group. I don't know about any group. I don't know about a click. I don't know anything about that. No, that, that, I do not believe Sonya is a 97 pound victim. No. Um, is Sonia the ops? Okay, so let's say Friday or Thursday. Thursday or Friday, depending on if we do hot topics or something. But Thursday or Friday, we will we will do a poll. Is Sonia the ops? I mean, Sonia appears to Sonia appear. Look, this. I'm just gonna put this out there. I know you guys are thinking about it, and you guys still stay independent. Um. It, uh, love, I see you backstage, so hold on, okay? Um, this is what I see. I agree with you on how she kind of moves in and drops some negativity everywhere she comes to, right? Uh -huh. um, I do think that somehow, even if, even how this whole thing has played out in the past two weeks where um, it seemed innocent enough this whole situation of these interviews make no mistake this woman is she's like the do you remember that movie the apple dumpling gang they were just a bunch of dummies oh, yeah. trying to mm -hmm. rob banks and stuff she's she's like she's she is a bumbling idiot just like Krell lewis right but i think that she is very cunning and sly i don't mm -hmm. know that she's clever and i'm certainly not calling her smart but I do think that she is just enough ghetto. She has just enough background. Um, Ma'am spent a whole year in prison. And I think she knows enough game to be dangerous. And I've said that oh, yeah. a million times. She's very dangerous. And I think that she is messy as hell. Yeah, okay? she's definitely Extremely dangerous. Messy. I felt bad for Shirley because Shirley, I feel like, like I don't say that Shirley's 100% innocent either, but um, I, I feel like she's naive on a lot of things. But Sonya is conniving. And like when she made a point of saying that she's only living 15 minutes from the jail, well, remember, Shirley didn't even know that she was living right around the corner from the jail. Mm. And then when somebody had asked before if she lived close to Shirley, so no, how why would I live close to her? Why do I know where she lives? I mean, that girl is conniving. She is the devil. And um, I don't know, but it just and and then I'm like you on the time part, but I said if somebody got deep enough pockets, three years is no big deal. And to cover her expense, I don't know. I, it, it, and who, we don't. The only reference I have, of course, when it comes to stuff like that, is um, different news stories. But those crime shows where people have gone undercover, and you know, it ruins their marriage, and they have to do things that's illegal to be accepted in, and blah blah blah. I don't know. She might just be crazy. She might just be. This is but the only thing know. that I think of, though, um, like the video that they that phone calls from prison put up the uh -huh. other day, um, which was the day before Nesto's birthday and a couple of days before the interview. This uh -huh. is all I'm saying. She had, of course, ev look, I'm going to 
we all know the calls are being monitored. The calls are being recorded by Global Tel. Uh -huh. But she had been coming to see Nesto at that point. This could have been her 50th visit. This uh -huh. woman's been there at least once a week, every week for over a year. Okay. Right. No calls had gotten out. No visits, excuse me. No visits had hit the YouTube streets. Uh -huh. The visits were a week or two away from being dropped on. So she went to see him the 9th. The first video dropped, I think, on the 22nd of Sept of, uh, of January, right? Um, that call when she was sitting there mocking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mocking yeah. the person mm -hmm. who, in sincerity, seems to have a heart yeah. for helping these folk. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm like. She's a whole bitch. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, ma'am is very, very much like anyone who would deal with this person just understand she's got a forked tongue. She's mm -hmm. going to talk to you because she wants people to listen about what her agenda is. But she ran over to go see Nesto and she was talking trash. Then I would love to hear the phone call. If phone calls from prison, you're out there somewhere and you're listening at this moment. I would love to hear the call. So I'm putting in a little bit of a request. I would love to hear the call that she put in to Nesto, if it exists, if it wasn't something on the tablet, where mm -hmm. she asked him, would you want to meet, interview, and or talk to someone oh, from yeah. the streets? That's right. how I want to hear how she put it. What mm -hmm. did she say? we can use this to our advantage or just go ahead and do it. I'm saying it's okay. Like I would love to hear that um, conversation if it exists. I don't know if it does. Cause she could have sent it to him on the tablet, on that tablet. Um, but we don't know. I want to hear that conversation because all of that was prior to the video visits dropping. So even though she was being careful what she was saying. Uh -huh. We are hearing, keep in mind that the video visits up until that visit that she was talking all her shit. If you watch phone calls from prison uh -huh. on Patreon, that Patreon call that they put up, that is painfully obvious that she's, they're very much messing with the streets now because they can't talk. Uh -huh. um, so she knows we can't talk on the phone. We can't talk on these visits, all of that stuff, right? Why was somebody hidden, guys? I see somebody was hidden. I'm assuming it's for a good reason. Um, I just noticed people are definitely that stupid. Thankfully, it's not. Um, okay, I don't know why that person was hidden, but um, I just fixed that. So, uh, okay. But um, yeah, and everything from her tracking him down, being calling um, other people like the teacher, Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It's just hard to believe somebody is actually that stupid and evil, you know? Maybe um, so. Why? No, I mean, stupid and evil or just stupid? Because well, she might be stupid, but if she, she might also be, she might be stupid and evil or stupidly evil. I mean, however you want to put it, but I agree. Um, it's not hard to believe, though. There are some diabolical. Did we not just listen to that news story of the mother being so cruel to her own children? Uh -huh. How would someone like if if this woman has her sights set on this lady here's husband uh -huh. and she wants to do anything to get him and she doesn't mind throwing a few people under the Internet or knowing that she loves to find her way into a courtroom? She uh -huh. loves people she loves to make accusations she got short woman complex all of these things she doesn't mind throwing out a lie to see which one will stick she actually has people out here thinking that people are coming for her now like it's like lady nobody's you keep showing up on live stream uh -huh. coming for yeah. you talking about the case and in talking about the case guess what that includes these calls OK, oh, right. right now, mm -hmm. this is what's part of it. So she has no control over that. Desi, do you have anything else? Because I got love. No, uh, that's coming all. Up next. OK. All right. 
Well, we will see you later in the week. And guys, you marinate. Is Sonia the ops? Is she the ops? <laughs> Think about it. Okay. Thank you. All right, sis. Take care. You too. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Love. Hello. Hi. Hi. So I just, um, I just want, I had an opinion to offer as well. I do agree with the last caller, but I have a different perspective on it. Please drop it. Yes. So I think that Sonia is unbalanced. I think that um, she is not mentally well. And there are women out there, women in the world who really enjoy connecting with men in jail. And I do think that Sonia does a lot of shady things. And, the, you know, Ernesto only has what she tells him to to go by. And I really wish that um, Dre and the other people on the outside would tell him, hey, we're listening to this stuff, too. And what she's telling you ain't 100 percent. I wish someone would be real with him about that, because I think that he's he's taking what she's saying for the truth of the matter. But I agree with the last caller that you can see where any opportunity she gets to shade someone who is his support system in his life, like Dre, she makes shady comments about, I think it's his son or whoever it is, but she, any opportunity she gets to do that, she takes it. And I think it's because she wants him only to herself. I think that she enjoys the fact that he's in jail. She gets to control. I mean, she gets to control everything, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, absolutely. She gets to control all the information that he gets, you know, like she's sitting here telling him untruths and he's like, what? He's believing it. He's like, he, he's eating it up. And you know, but, but we know that she's not being honest, but he has no choice but to rely on her. I just, I just think she's sick. I think she's one of these women who has found someone he needs her. He needs her. No, I can't say how many times he said, I ain't got nobody else. I mean, first of all, I would have been assaulted. I don't know how mm -hmm. many times this man has said on the phone to her, well, it's a good thing you pretty. Otherwise, what, sir? Who else was calling you? Not, not, if it it doesn't you, matter. Else, yeah. It doesn't matter. No one else is calling you, right? Like, who, who else is giving you this much time? No one. This woman has moved to another state. She even bought herself another, got herself another apartment, is looking for different jobs just so she could sit in this space where she's available to him. I listened to a call this morning. It was old. Um, but in that phone call, she says something to the effect of, well, I ain't got nothing else going on. And I'm like, of course you don't. This is what you have going on. And this I is what, yeah, that. this is what she kind of latched on to because it's kind of, maybe she, she has said she doesn't mind a fix up project and he is definitely a fix up project. So well, absolutely. He's a project. He may not have been a project initially in her mind when she met him because he seemed to have it all, you know, he seemed to have some things together. Um, he was an established guy. You know, and I'm saying mm -hmm. from her point of view, like obviously it was it was a foundation built on nothing but his wife's reputation, um, or his alleged wife, we'll put it that way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean she's she's quite divisive, and I'm not surprised at at what's happened that she has caused so much strife and turmoil. Um, that that you know, I'm just saying you cannot trust a snake. You, you cannot, cannot trust, trust a, snake a snake to not be a snake. That's just, it's in their nature. I wish and I, I think those two are use. you know, they don't like the bloggers, period. And it's the number one go-to on the internet when you are battling the blogs and the tabloids and the pasarasi is to go after them, yeah. is to just try to start to dismantle their credibility and unfortunately, in this case, because it's a small community, um, rather than just ignore it, um, it's taken a little bit of root. But I'm laughing at it, to be quite honest. I think it's absolutely unfortunate. And I think that ma'am has a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. And I think if anybody was wondering, was this like she doesn't have any respect? Or any, even if she says she's talking to five people, it doesn't matter because whomever she was talking about at that time, between the mocking and the discrediting and the triangulating, 
um, it was very much giving. She's getting ready to use this opportunity because her social media campaign has failed over and over and over again. So she's going to use whoever opens up their platform to allow her to sit and spew and lie and spin and create chaos. That's, that's her, that's her agenda. Since I agree. That's, you know, even when she was on Tasha K. Oh, she tried it. She, <laughs> she started on, she, she did it on it. Tasha K and she, she was pissed because Tasha K had some of the bloggers on who've been covering the case, including myself. So yep. that pissed her off. So what did she do? She finds a way or however, however it went down because did we see that? I don't know. I don't know. However it went down that she ended up going to do that interview. Um, I, I just, I, I think she, she's mad. She's mad. Sonia stays in the bushes. There's no, there's no one who can tell me that she's not in the bushes. She's, she's not watching. She's not paying attention to what's going on because this is her job. She's made this her job. Yeah. She's completely and totally dedicated and fixated. And if you set, and if you put your pinky toe out to help her, you better and beware because right? she's going to throw you up under the bus. Yeah, and how hypocritical, right? Because she accuses the bloggers all the time, all in my business, all all these calls. They have no life. Nobody's in her business. We're on Nesto's. We're not on Sonia right. Durham's calls. We're on Ernest Nesto's Williams' calls. calls. Exactly. You happen to be the fool that calls every day. Because <laughs> she got nothing better to do. She has nothing better. Time. That's her boo thing. That's her That's boo. That, it absolutely is. You know what I do wonder is and i don't know if we'll ever know this but i do wonder if he ever if he gets out um he has a pattern of behavior of really not staying with one woman like you know like mm -hmm. take, like scamming aside right accusations of scamming aside this man does not have a history of being with one woman he was barely out of a relationship when he got with shirley right so he's this, he's a, he's one of these guys who you can say he overlaps. You know how you oh, have a friend who always does. she might have a boo, but she got a she bay is is in the bushes somewhere mm -hmm. waiting for his 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 up next. Yep. That's Sonya, that's Nesto. Yeah, and, and if Sonia thinks and you know, it seems like Sonia tries to say, well, she wouldn't care because a man will be a man. I you know, I just feel like she's one of those. But I'm like, oh yes, you will care. You're sitting up here doing cartwheels, cartwheels, pretty much selling your edges at this point to try to say to try to say this man, you would care. You would care. Well, she do you have to go anywhere, but she care. Do you have Patreon? Are you watching on Patreon, too? No. OK, so phone calls from prison put up a couple of videos, one of which um is I can't remember the date on it, but it's pretty recent. Like, let's say it's about two weeks ago. Let's just say two, three weeks ago. It's in the not so distant past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and Sonia, of course, is talking about the bloggers again. And she says, Yeah, they're like housewife types. <laughs> like that was one of the digs. I mean, that's not a dig to me. I I have worked right. hard to earn this housewife status. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, ma'am has been working since her twenties, good corporate jobs. Okay. And at the end of the, I've worked hard to get the and be, actually be a housewife, or I I don't have a job in corporate America anymore. Okay. And at the end of the day, ma'am is very jealous. She's very very jealous. Very jealous. Mocha, I see you, boo boo. I just dropped it. Very um, jealous. She's very Everything jealous she that there are people out here who actually have a husband. I had somebody who was low key harassing me in the comments, um, you know, saying some off the wall shit, but it's fine because there are some hating ass thirsty females out here that don't believe that marriage actually exists. So, of course, wants to try to say some things um, about like. Just random things. I'm not even going to bother to repeat, but I'm sure the person knows who they are. Um, and it was kind of like, I'm not even going to take this bait. Number one, I think it's Sonya. And number two, if it's not her, it's a Sonya sympathizer. Or and these tricks don't believe in marriage because they do things 
to attract because they are fucked up. They yep. attract fucked up type men. Yep. So all they do is attract the type of man that confirms what you already think that you know about men, which is that they cheat, they lie, they this, they that, because you cheat, you lie, you this, you that. Or because, you know, unfortunately, because of low self-esteem, there's, there's other mitigating things that can make you, you know, sometimes that's just your lesson to learn. No one deserves to have that type of treatment, but you can swerve from that type of treatment when you, when you have a different type of thinking. And can I Everyone ask, deserves to be happy. Yeah. And can I just ask, and I mean, this is an aside and, and I, I, and I honestly, I, this is going to sound hella shady. I really, mm -hmm. I really don't mean it the way that this is going to sound. It is just really say a it. question. Who told Sonia that she was that cute? No, I'm serious. Like, don't get me wrong. She acts like she looks like Nicole Murphy. Okay. Like, I'm not saying that Sonia is unattractive, but it grinds my gears every time I hear a phone call or see her on the video. She's like, well, it's because I look so young or it's because I'm so cute. And it's like, ma'am, you look your age to me. You understand? You look like a very mm -hmm. good, you look like a very good version of your age. Not like, really. I, oh, well, I okay, saw see? someone today that looks amazing. See? Um and like, just like, uh, like I had to up? look twice. I was like, get out of here. Yeah. Sis is 55. Cause she was going for a gray hair appointment. Mm -hmm. And she said she was finally this, it was on Instagram. This girl was finally going to embrace her gray hair and she had beautiful hair and she was going to embrace and had her gray hair appointment. Mocha call back. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, she looks okay, but you know what? I think this is the deal. Let's do, you know, and no one has to do what I say, but the more that people just ignore that fact, number one, she's going to say, like, the more that people talk about her looks, we are only talking about it because she talks about it. But right, if but we stop acknowledging it, then it's over because yeah. I don't even, I mean, I don't care what this woman looks like. I'm not trying to have sex with her. I'm not interested. I don't care. I'm not impressed. She looks like a woman. She looks like she's part of vagina club and I'm going to leave it at that. I don't care. You know but what I mean? I am I the only one? No, that, you're not. That, that, that you're absolutely that, not. Okay, Everybody thinks the like, exact same thing. Yeah, like, and I'm like, Ernesto, I think that he also, he knows that that's a real hot spot for her. That's her love and language. It's her love language. And I feel like he taps in that every time, but that's how he, I feel like that's his manipulation key. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it, it's just like this they're fascinating like, no it's you're they, not the only so one i just think that and i'm not saying let's not talk about it because i'm not i'm just not going to i don't address right. it because i feel like she wants to her beauty she may have felt like growing up maybe she had pretty girl problems i don't know not my problem to help her solve i am not right. her priest i'm not her social worker nor her therapist so I'm not going to help work out that issue since you got a face and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Nobody, nobody is nobody like it's, it's enough already. I know we have a good time about the ponytail, but it's like enough already. It is enough. It, it is enough. The whole thing is enough. And it's just like, you, she needs therapy. Yeah. Ma'am, you got a face. You got therapy. two eyes and a nose. Good. Two, two <laughs> eyes, two eyes and a nose. And she's so blatantly, insecure something she's so blatantly something about it it's like you don't even realize this man sitting up here gaming you i don't Pretty even much, know if he, yeah. i don't even know if he really think you the best looking thing he ever saw no that he just knows he true. needs he knows how to stroke that ego that's exactly. what he has to get from her love do you have anything else for us boo boo i don't i appreciate you letting me up i just want to say I, just, I love your show and i just wanted to contribute that i think that she's just one of those women like the ones who fled to the Menendez brothers uh -huh. who enjoys who enjoys a man in prison. She's one of those. She's one of them. She's one of those. Yeah. She, she's one of them and those. Period. Yep. Mm -hmm. That right over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dear. We love you. Take love care, hon. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Mocha. Tony, I hey, got you up next, boo boo. Hi, hey, Bye. honey. How are you? Tony, I got you up next, boo. Okay, how go ahead. You, gang? How are you guys doing on this Monday? Guys, so, Mocha said hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm in the process of moving right now, but I had to, you know, it's my day. Hey, off. Joey. I had to try. You're moving? 
Yeah, I'm moving um, closer to my job because they're doing so much construction on this freeway. It takes me oh, nice. five minutes okay. to get 12 minutes away from home. So I'm moving. Oh. <laughs> and they're not going to be done till 2027. So I'm moving. Yes. Um, but I wanted to um, reach out to you, Francois, because I know that you're having internet issues. So oh, my God. The the question is because a lot of people don't realize there's a lot of things things that can interfere with their Wi-Fi connection. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any mirrors around your router? No. Your router? Mm -mm. Um, is it on the floor? No. Okay. Do it's up any, high. Do you have any granite or marble nearby it? No. Okay, then you need to call Spectrum and have them upgrade your equipment. We do have newer equipment because we're okay. doing high split upgrade in the area which is redirecting traffic and so you could be affected because your equipment needs to be upgraded and okay I'm, I'm gonna call them you had it but ask for uh. a wave, ask for a wave six router and a doxis 3.1 modem and i'll put that in the chat so you'll have it wait you said a wave what a wave six router okay and a doxis 3.1 modem because I have the highest for home. So that's your service, um, which is great. It's the equipment that may be giving you the issue. Oh, okay. It's probably been, a, we've been here for four years, and this is probably, okay, Spectrum. Maybe it's been two or three years, maybe. Because um, we've had Google Fiber now for maybe a year and a half, almost two years. So, yeah, it might be time. It, it is might time be time. Because we just upgraded the equipment. Um, about a year ago so my equipment might not be matching with my service because i i've heard that before too Correct. um so when modem, we okay the mode okay good deal 3.1 because i think i heard you say you have a gig of service we have a modem no i have i think we have two or three we have I, I don't know what it is but it's we i've got the highest plan right so um spectrum offers a gig of service the highest plan and mm -hmm. you have to get the newer modem because you can still okay. connect but the modem is not going to be able to pull the speed because right. any other modem other than the doxis 3.1 modem is only capable of getting 940 megabits per second which is under a so it's not getting it's not meeting its full potential correct got it and, and okay just call them because they can always go in and look at the scope of your equipment to see if it's timing out from the signal, if there's any noise on the line that's causing a degradation. It's just time to do a little forensic kind of checkup and yeah. make sure everything is aligning. And it's that free. is a great recommendation. Absolutely. I just hadn't even, I was just kind of dealing with it because, you know, that's what we do, make lemonade, but it's, mm -hmm. it's getting my nerves now. No, it um, costs too much for you to be dealing with it, and it's free to upgrade your oh, equipment. Yeah. There's no charge to upgrade the equipment. I'm just letting you know because I was working from home with the older equipment, and they did the upgrades in my area. And when I tell you, I was dropping calls left and right <laughs> and having a time and it made from, a my, yeah, from my phone and just to deal with that. And then they had a technician come out there. He's like, oh. You need the newer modem. Oh, you need the newer router to go with the newer modem. I'm like, boy, no. So everything's been. Oh, wow. And everything's been. OK, good. But um, yeah, your girl Sonia. <laughs> She's a nut job. She um, Galila, absolutely. what happened? It won't let you send a pay chat. I'm not sure why, sis. Um, that's weird. Um, if you look, there's options. Um, I do have if you wanted to send something. And you're welcome to send to Cash App. So that's an option. I just put that down in the chat. I'm not sure why. Um, sometimes exit and come back in and refresh. It could be a glitch. Um, but I thank you. Um, I don't know. But you just did. Um, what's the yeah. iPhone? Uh, like, what would the iPhone you? I use iPhone all the time. I never have a problem. I know because I've been having issues with my super chats going through. So I mm, okay. use Cash App. And it okay. just brings up my iCloud account and it sits there and swirls and tells me it can't do it. So um, mm. it may it be, may be some account. sort of a glitch. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, you're welcome to Cash App if you like. Or I would say go out, try and come back in. Tony Smith, I got you backstage. Hold on just a second, babe. Um, 
So yeah, what? So tell us, uh, like your thoughts real quick, because I got Sonia holding. I mean, I got Sonia holding. I got Tanya holding real quick, or Tony yeah. rather. Just really, just really brief. Like, I mean, it's obvious that Sonia is a throw somebody under the bus type of chick, just to, just for the sake of freeing Nesta. I think it's awful, awful what's going on right now in the YouTube streets and. I, I just wanted to come in and direct what I said last week, um, you know, live, because, you know, there's no, no such thing as uh, public humiliation and private apologies, right? So um, when I said that Sylvia was wearing shorts to the visit, that wasn't true. She had her live running and she was, she had already gone home, I suppose, from her visit and change her clothes because I noticed when I saw the video of the visit um, that she had on a different coat. She had on like a greenish color coat or beige color coat. Yeah, the she, she was live and said she was going to pick up a disc or something from Office Depot. I yeah. think she, she was going to pick up a disc and going to pick up some food from her daughter mm -hmm. or, or her daughter. And uh, that was, yeah, that was after, I think she had already been earlier yeah. that day. So that's why I'm yeah. going through every live that I said that to and just, well, publicly apologize. And I mean, she's still slime as far as I'm concerned mm -hmm. and out of pocket. But I just wanted to say that because I'm not going to add any more salt in her wound about how she went to go see the married mm -hmm. man and pray for him. And I was listening to her live earlier um, today when she was addressing every everything about Sonia. And she was reading their email or their IG interaction and Sonia was sending her stuff and she was showing her receipts. But she did have a two hour conversation with her that there were no receipts for and a phone conversation with her. And she could have sent the information that way. We don't know. But um, as far as Sonia, she, you know, she's sitting out there in Vegas trying to clean up what she said. And it's too late because when I say PCFT is a goat and she comes through and and just just debunks everything that Sonia says. I love Well, it. it's it's not even that they're debunking it from a standpoint of this. Nesto and Sonia had conversations. Mm -hmm. So it's not really a lot that PC I mean, they obviously are edit they're they're putting together the package. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um the calls happened. So they're Sonya's telling one story on the YouTube streets and another story is going down in these phone calls. So yes, bringing forward the, like the right phone call at the right time really does tell the story. What, what we also have to acknowledge it, that the duplicity of mm -hmm. Sonya, there's not really a lot. My point is there's not a lot that you have to do when the truth is coming out. Ma'am is out here lying on the YouTube streets, but when the calls are basically the calls. It's just like her mock that call last night or yes, the day before yesterday, mm -hmm. where all of what she was saying, it just tells itself. Yes. It just tells itself. It does. It just tells the like when you sit there and tell a lie, lie doesn't care who tells it, right? That's right. And the truth is what the truth is. So thank God that the truth is there and that we have a channel that just puts out the uncut truth and right. that is very much appreciated. So the fact that they didn't know that these, that these visits were going to drop, um, you could tell ma'am is pissed. Ma'am is very much pissed. So it has put a wedge in their relationship, but you know what? Close your legs to married men. Close your Don't have to worry to about it. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. But well, let I'll me let get Tony. Get, yeah. I'll let, I'll go down now. Um, get okay. Back to my packing and stuff, and you guys have a wonderful time. I'll be right here in chat. Thank you for all of the suggestions, <laughs> sis. I appreciate you so much. You're welcome. And just remember, this spectrum is open twenty four seven. And absolutely. You can call them at any time to get get that taken care of. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, sis. Take care. And don't forget to request a credit, girl. Don't because they oh, won't offer okay. credit. Okay. We'll get they my coins. Okay. They won't, offer, they won't offer credit. We're not allowed to offer credits, but if you let them know you haven't been receiving the speeds that you're subscribed to, we can see that. So um, request a credit. I can <laughs> ask for a credit. I will. Yeah. Okay. okay. Take Talk care, boo. I appreciate you. All right, thank bye. you. All right. Bye-bye. Tony. Hi, Francois. Hi, Bougie Yay. Gang.
<laughs> Joey, I got you backstage. Just hold tight for a minute, okay? I let Tony uh, get her chance. She's been waiting. What's going on, sis? How are you? I'm wonderful. How about you, sir? Oh, my God. I'm doing amazing for Monday. Okay. So, um, can we hear the call where she asked him, can we hear the work call again? Because I think that's the connection between her. I believe she became familiar with him through Brooke. And that's because he probably was like, yeah, my man said he was going to open up a barbershop. He did it. You could probably do his story or whatever. That's what I believe. So which one, which one did you want to hear? The one where she talked about Rook, his, his cellmate that um, the first, the call where she put him on the phone because he oh, says in that okay. call. The Tubi guy. He said, yeah, he said in that call, he was like, she's a hard working woman. And how you know she's a hard working woman? Because you just met her. How you know? Okay. I don't, I don't think she's there. He wasn't even that important for somebody to come looking for. I don't think he was a setup. I believe he got locked up on a humble from whoever the police officer know and the person that rented the house from it. Then it started it snowballed from there. She but keeps some going the, back to the fact that there were nice cars parked in front of the house and she was just running plates. Like Sonia keeps saying these weird things. Whether whether Natalie Fields ran the plates sitting in front of the house so, or not. So if, if, it, if she if did, it, if she did, if she did, if she did, and they can prove it, because that's abuse of police power. And then they're dumb. I don't know where the, what they do over there for promotion, but nine times out of ten, you got to test to get a promotion as an officer. They don't just promote you before. I just not made birth. <laughs> I mean, if you see how that house sits on a very busy street, there's no way that those cars sitting in front of that house, other than maybe the ambulance arising, some sort of like that's weird. <laughs> But maybe that person owns an ambulance company. If there's covenants or restrictions for your neighborhood, then maybe they don't want you having commercial vehicles decommissioned or not in your in your driveway or on the pro in the in the confines of the neighborhood. That's another thing. If if in fact, like it was stated in the police report, the owner of the property had new tenants who have not paid rent. In two or three months, you've called them. You haven't heard from them. There are cars in the driveway, which makes you think, what? Maybe somebody is home. Nobody's answering the door. Nobody's answering the phone. Rents have not been paid. I'm going to do an inspection because maybe you have an unalive scene in there. Maybe somebody needs to check on folk, right? You go inside. There's paperwork, there's weird shit, and there's no signs of anyone living here. Did they abandon the home? I mean, if that, it, just think about if you own a house, going on? there's nothing wrong with, first of all, you did haven't got your rent. What's going on? I'm calling, no one's answering. There's an ambulance out in front of the house. There's a Rolls Royce. There's two Harley Davidson. What's going on? Nobody's answering me. And you'd see Candy Relaford next door, who's not Candy Relaford. It's Erica King. And she's telling me, I'm going to put it, I'm sending you a cease and desist. Stop asking questions. Or I've got a check for you. Like the man was being scammed. Just the fact that Candy Relaford went to talk to him and Candy Relaford's a Erica King, that's a problem. Hello? You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, that's a problem. So. The fact that she wants to keep running the narrative that just because there was a Rolls Royce and some black people, Atlanta is a chocolate city. I don't know what the com the makeup of Roswell is, but the fact that there's black people with Rolls Royces, are you kidding me? It's a city that is known for black people doing very, very well. That's not out of the ordinary for black people to have nice cars. That's And I think there's some black people living in the house now. <laughs> Because Sylvia did go on a a, a road, uh, what do you call it, a, a field trip, and she ended up talking to the lady outside the house that she was one of the people from the deal. 
So her family was in the music business and they had a long conversation. And her um, her family was part of the deal, that that music group with Babyface and L.A. Reid mm -hmm. and all that. Um, and one of his nieces or something lives up in that house. One of the people from the deal. Okay. So there are black people living there. You think that they're just driving by and running license plates? No, there was some shenanigans going on. I mean, Sonya loves white people. So we can get Joey on in a second. I'm just going to make a gross oh. assumption. I don't know if he's a white guy or not. But at the end of the day, she uses white people to confirm or she vilifies them. So now the white people are on the hot seat because they're running uh, tags of black people with nice cars. And then it's something it, it's it's like, my God, she hates black people. Then, you know, you know how we do. Or it's, you know, white people. They just want to do this. And they, yeah. this woman is trash. I'm sorry, Ta uh, Tanya. Excuse me, Tony. <laughs> Sonia is, she, she does a lot. She does a lot to muddy the waters. Um, what do you think about that? That those are all excellent points, but I'm saying her put her that that's he got I believe he just got caught up in the humble. That's what I believe. He did get caught up. Yes. He <laughs> got caught up. Absolutely. He was doing now, too much. Right, and him and her with these conspiracies, but do you think he was doing too much on his Cody is the one who sunk his ship? Do I think he was doing too much on his coding? No, his Cody. Might have been oh, a mastermind okay. behind some, okay. Okay. yeah. Uh, Which was behind coding? the whole. Well, I think she had a she played. So that, this is where Joey's going to come in because Joey does have some theories on that. The co-defendant. Hey. Um, I think that she definitely had some of the acumen because she. This was not the first time that she played lawyer. She actually set up an appeal. Um, she, they say she set up a whole entire corporation or they, she set up a whole entire law firm. She was doing a lot. So I think that they each had their jobs. I'm gonna put it that way. I think that they had their jobs and I think that they played, you know, Nesto very much always has a woman in the front seat for him. So who's the mastermind? It might look like Erica cause we know Nesto is kind of dumb but Nesto could also be someone who's leading from behind because his MO, if we're speaking of MOs, he always seems to have a lady fronting him. He, there's always but, a lady in the front. There's always a, but he's leading from behind. I, I, I said that the first time I called him, it's, it literally they always have to have um, women to help them with their businesses. Yeah, he's he's definitely leading from behind and um he doesn't he wouldn't know what he was doing. He has some people. Sonya knows that he likes business, so that's why she talked her little lame version of business to get his interest because she knows Nesto likes to make money. Nesto likes money. He might like money more than he likes putty cat. And because she talks money and she tries to be business minded, that gets his interest. That turns him on. As far as, far as uh, if they get a movie deal, well, her mother could play her because she looked younger, and Shirley could play herself. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So, what else? What else are your thoughts about what's happened over the last week? Like, do you think that this, um, so what about him getting dismissed last Monday? Last Monday was a big deal. He got dismissed of the CP charges. What do you think about that? So the first time I called, I said, I, I believe they play hide the inmate. That's what I believe. Because even them moving him from one jail to another jail, inmates always, they notify them. And normally they probably call home and tell their family, well, I'm going to be in two days, I'm going to such and such. They don't just up and abruptly move. So you think that they separated him? Why? Why do you think they separated him? Because they because they needed to build a cake. This, why is your dog out here like this? Come on now. Well, I don't think I'm... Let me go to so they need to separate him from some other people? You said what? They wanted to separate him from some other inmates. Is that what you're saying? 
No, I believe they wanted to separate because if they separated them, then they gave them more time to do their investigation or whatever they needed to do. It was just full time. Um, I don't think moving him to Cobb County was that like that they that they can justify giving him more time because they sent him to Cobb County. I think it was just for housing no. purposes. No, 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 no. That's what what I'm saying is, okay, so let's say he was there and his 90 days was coming up or whatever, and then he hadn't gone to court. Okay, well, when they move him to Cobb County, they get, they can wait another 90 days because they no, transfer. No, yeah, it was just housing. It's like, for instance, if you're in college and you're at the Douglas dorm and all of a sudden there's, you know, there's disrepair and they move you over to the newer campus and put you in not the dorm that you paid for, but you're still in, you know, you're still in housing, but they just put him in a different dorm. It's just, he's in the Cobb County dorm because Fulton County is full. So it didn't give him anything. He doesn't have charges in Cobb County at all. He has nothing to do with Cobb County. The only reason why he's in Cobb is because there is a lack of housing for Fulton. So he really is a Fulton County inmate. Fulton County charges. The only reason why he's in Cobb is because they have an agreement to house some of their prisoners there because there's no housing. So it didn't, it doesn't have an effect on him at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, it didn't increase or decrease. It's just a bed. Okay. It's literally just a bed. He's not a full, he's not a Cobb County inmate. He's there at Cobb, but he's not a Cobb County. He's considered Fulton. And all the Fulton inmates are together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's it. Fine, fine. Well, I appreciate you so much, Tony. I don't know why um, I always mess up your name, but my bad. I'm so sorry, but I know it's Tony. So, okay. Well, I appreciate you calling in. Thank you so much, sis. You have a great day. You too. Take care. All right. Bye bye. Okay, Joey. Francois. Hi, Joey. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? What's going on? Outstanding. Outstanding. What do you want to talk about today? What shall we what what shall we endeavor today? Can we talk about we the talk race about? card a little bit? The race card, okay. What about it? Why does she use the race card so much? Like, what do you think about the race card being used? Like sometimes it's the white people taking advantage of white privilege. Mm. Or it's the white people like on a pedestal because we're so awful. Black people are just the worst. Okay. And, um, and then it's the black women. It's the black bloggers. It's, it's just the race card of it all. She's very much an opportunist and she is equally as, um, she's just, she's equally egregious on all fronts. So it's, it, she is a bit of a colorist just in my black woman's opinion as a black woman. I think she's colorist, but I think she is equal opportunity offender. But what, what is your take on the race card? And have we just heard it so much? Maybe your ears, like you're deaf to it now. Like, I, I, I don't know. I think there, I don't know if there's a, I don't know if there's a race. Well, there is, there's a racial component to this. Absolutely as in anything in the criminal justice system. But I think uh, as far as Sonia goes, I thought about this. Sonia literally is, she, she's literally the butterfly McQueen prissy character from Gone with the Wind. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, I know how to birth a baby. I know how to do the legal system. And now it's like, I don't know how to do the legal system. I don't know anything. It, it's that. And she has gotten, she, because, because Ernest has turned over so much of his legal defense or has allowed her to be involved, she has got him in a trick. She's actually made things infinitely worse for him mm -hmm. than he can ever know. Uh, and it just gets worse. And so every, every she, she literally, because she's involved, they keep snatching victory from the jaws of defeat every time. So he's got another, I understand in 2030, he's got another uh, bond hearing. On the 23rd? Yes, on the 23rd, yes. Which is going to be about the essay, you know, that that case. But she, of course, has been on the internet talking about, you know, you know where the person is and where the person's, you know, you know who the person recently. is and where they, recently, where they are. Mm -hmm. So that's going to backfire tremendously at that, at that, at that hearing, I would believe. You know, and anything's possible, but I would think that would certainly backfire. So she is not doing him any favors at all. And I know... 
she doesn't want to talk about uh, I know they, I know they don't want to have any any sexy time talking, but I'd almost tell her do the sexy time talk. Just have the phone. <laughs> you know, at this point in time, you'd be better off doing that because the more you talk about his case, the worse things are for him. It is mm-hmm. you're making things infinitely worse. It you just yeah. are. So, uh, yeah, it's yeah. It, it this this thing gets more and more interesting as we go. Uh, the uh, and Sonya just. Bless her heart. She just she just lies. She just lies so much. I I, I don't understand. She does. Why she does. Uh, I think she's trying to float narratives, or she's trying to. I mean, she's just trying to get out from under whatever pressure that she's on, and she's using the. She's doing what she always has done her entire life. You just basically start lying, and and, right. and they kind of and you get out of it, and that's that's why we are the way we are. And and she continues to talk, not understanding that people are studying and looking at these, listening to these these calls. They know these calls better than you do. You can't remember everything that you've said, or 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 maybe you're tr- maybe you're choosing not to remember everything that you've said. Mm-hmm. So you just start lying. The minute you start, somebody questions you, you just start lying. The uh, the issue about where she got the uh, essay victim's name and stuff from a blogger uh, who will go unnamed. So she said, but she's given every breadcrumb to who that blogger actually is. So it's no secret at this point in time. You no, know, I don't. I'm going to be honest. I don't think that anyone like I'm. I'm just going to say I don't believe that anybody meant any harm who has dealt with this so woman. I don't um, think so either. I don't think anyone meant any harm and I don't think anyone meant to like do something weird, but I think that a snake is a snake and in sharing information with people, you cannot share information with everyone. You just can't, if you're going to share it, if, if, and if it's something that you're going to share, um, I, I don't know. You just, you can't share with everybody and specifically, um, the, the aggressor, well, the alleged aggressor, the alleged criminal in the matter, you should not be sharing anything with those people. And those people really shouldn't even be talked to, in my opinion. That's just what, for me. I'm not what, telling anybody what they should do. But at the end of the day, we see how Sonia has operated. And that call that came out the day before yesterday, the way that she talked about the bloggers in general but specifically whomever she was talking to. Like, I was like, oh, it was the mocking for me. It was the down talking for me. It was the downplaying. It was just the, it was, it was the entertaining of the BS um, that should let people know you have to be careful with any interactions that you have with this woman. Cause anything you say, she's going to run and talk to Nesto about and what you think the connection was that you had with her may not actually be cause she's phony. Well, she is. And I, I think, I think bloggers have to be careful. I think this particular blogger is trying to establish a rapport and, you know, you know to get in and get information or get, get kind of first, get it first, you know, kind of scoop everybody maybe. But uh, th- there's again, you're dealing with unreliable people who 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 have who who don't know the truth if they hit them in, if they ran over it. I, I have never seen people right. you know just can you please at some point in time just be honest and uh, or just shut up. How about that? Right. One of the it's one like of the, two. the truth it's, just runs right past their face. It, it does, and and I know. I know you want to run with the lie. I know you want to, you know, people do that. But when you have overwhelming, there's a lot of other information out there to counter that. You're probably better off just not saying anything. You, you, exactly. you only make it look worse. So, like when she went live in Vegas, I'm like, I, I always love this expression. I, I've already said it two, three times today. It's not the crime. It's the cover up. Mm-hmm. That's always the most interesting to me in true crime when you're seeing what happened, but then you see like the shenanigans that play out afterwards, which really gives you the clear picture or sometimes not so clear picture, but 
you really get to see how human behavior really when people are fighting for their life at that moment, trying to make sure a lie is sticking, trying to make sure, you know, just whatever it is that they're doing. Um, it's, it's the cover up. It's what you immediately say afterwards. And people are listening. People are taking notes, even in their head. They are taking mental notes. They are watching. There's cameras. There's audio. There's GPS. There's so much. Like at the point, I'm just thinking in the Murdoch trial, when, when Alec just could not lie anymore about being on his property at the time that his wife and his son were killed. Like it was like, sir, we've got a Snapchat video. Like you're time stamped. You're here. And it was like, okay, I lied. Like he just had to, it was, it was done. You, he couldn't yeah. lie anymore. Yeah, I, I can't explain it. I don't know why. I, I don't, again, there's just something in, inherently broken in that person. I don't know why they, again, I don't know why they lie as much as they do, but uh, I mean, that's, but, but she's not helping him. That's not the, at, all. It, it, at, at the end of the day, she's making it infinitely worse for him. And uh, why is, and people ask, why is, you know, why is he attached to her? And, and again, I'll say, because at this point in time, he has no one else. You're drowning. You're going to grab on to anything that is keeping you above water, or at least that, that you think is keeping you above water. Absolutely. So that's, that's why that is. And, and she's, you know, he's going to continue to latch on to her because she's it. She's the only tether to the world that is reliable to some to an to a to a some degree for him so that's that's who she's gonna that's who that's who he's gonna plug into until he something else comes along which i don't think anything else is gonna come along so well and everyone who knows what's going on they're kind of like look like they can't they probably don't even feel comfortable talking to him right now because they know it's gonna end up like on love lies and lace it's gonna end up on real talk bougie or grown woman or it's going to end up in a reaction. It's going to end up on phone calls from prison. And the fact that, um, you know, it, he can't even hold a conversation anymore without, um, you know, we can't really talk about this and da, 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 da. And, and, you know, okay. So, you know, Sonia did this and I, I'm telling you guys, coach, she has, she's the one I need y'all to talk to her because Pinocchio is doing an, um, you know what I mean? And, and you need to call them folks for me because I know they like Dunkin' Donuts and I want you to bring in some flowers because I them folks, I, I need to know if I can come to the house, you know, because when I get my bond, I mean, it's just a mess. I think the Nobody 007... Nobody wants to talk to him anymore. Yeah, I think the 007 uh, spy routine has to stop. It, it's not fooling anyone. In fact, if he talked in just plain... If he, if he, if he just spoke as himself, we'd be confused enough. You don't need to okay. do the extras. You really don't. Okay. So I, I, it's really, it's a lot of work to do that. Yeah, I, I really, mm, yeah. Well, and strange. it makes you look more guilty because at the end of the day, number one, it's obvious that you're hiding calls. You're, you're flipping pins all around the jail, all in the Fulton County um, pod. They're all flipping pins and hiding phone calls. That's number one. Number two, you're talking in code to the girlfriend that shows up once or twice a week for a visit. So um, if they didn't think anyone was listening, they're listening. And also just the fact of her running her own sidebar investigation and admittedly running background checks on people and all kinds of stuff. So I don't know I don't who this investigator... I don't, she, I, don't, I don't think she's doing that. Well, when you, when I'm you're talking about based on what she said. She said that she was going to pull backgrounds on the girl. I don't and, think she's doing that. I well, don't think she she's might doing not it. have. She might not she's have. Like, but I'm just saying you. that she, that's she, what she said. She is constantly feeding into feeding that to him. She's not doing any of that. I don't think she's doing half well, the things that she says she's doing. Right. I'm just and I, I agree. Like my, as far she could run a background check on me all day, all night if she wants to. She's going to be wasting her money, but at, and not that she would need to. But I'm just saying, like she can do whatever she wants. What she's doing though is that's what she's putting out to the world. Like it's not a good look for him. I think as a felon that your girlfriend that you talk to three times a day and six times on Sunday 
is even saying that she's running background checks on people. She's collecting information. She's doing her own ad hoc investigation that she's dropped out of favor with your legal team. I mean, it just, it's not a good look. Like, I think if she, if, if this goes to a trial, I could so see her being called by the prosecution as to like, ma'am, what's your role? Like, who are you? And tell us all about yourself. Do you, do you see that if, if he gets an indictment, do you see Nesto having to present Sonia as, or maybe not him present her as a witness, but the prosecution no, bring her up no, as no. Okay. No, she is. Why is she not material to the case? Because she doesn't know anything. She only knows what little he's told because he hasn't been honest with her. So, he, so he what if they're trying anything. to prove that he his dishonesty or his um his uh you know that he is he's a cheater, you know, all of those character type I, I think you know his his previous record does that for you. You, you don't so. have, okay. Speaks, she's yeah, you don't it have, would just yeah. be a time filler. Okay. Correct. So she's not really to, necessary. It speaks no, for itself. No, no. She she is uh she doesn't know anything. She can't. There's no value added. It would be a waste of time to bring her up because unless you just want some comic relief. But other than that, there's really no that she doesn't know anything. You know, she will be called her. as a witness in the divorce. If there is actually a divorce um, in Fulton County, she do you think she'll be called? She'll be depositioned for that. Is she coming? I don't think. Well, if there actually is a divorce, I mean, since we you know, since there may not even be a marriage. Do you. Uh, but if they, being in relationship they, uh, with him for 10 years, do you think it's wise for Shirley to file some sort of legal notice to let 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 the record show in the state of Georgia we are not married? He cannot collect do, my insurance policy, all right, of those she, things. Right. She may have to do something to kind of set, because they've been presenting themselves as a married couple for right, a Right. Some of sort of annulment, some right. sort of ad hoc sort divorce of, paper. Right. Some way of separating her from him. His debts, uh, his, right, his lawsuits, debts. his everything. Yeah. Right, because there will be some civil stuff coming out. So, I mean, I, I, obviously, or maybe. Did you say possible. civil? Yeah, I know. Did, did you say civil? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can you drop some civils in the chat? Joey just said civil. It's civil. You know, <laughs> first it's criminal, then it's civil. <laughs> then it's civil. And, <laughs> it's civil. of course... Things can be criminal and, and civil because that's why most we things, have wrongful death suits, right? Most, things, you are. Can, most you, things are. Most things are both criminal and civil. Right. If you I can hurt, have a. If I hurt you, if I hurt you that's mm -hmm. if, I, if I fight you, that's criminal. That's an assault. But then you can sue me civilly for damages because I. Absolutely. Hurt you. So most things are both, and I don't know why. And and it, again, Sonia is the butterfly McQueen of law. I mm. know this. I know law. I know what I'm talking about. And in the we end, believe you, be... Joey. You've all but told us. We know that you know the law. Okay, yeah. we know it. We yeah, believe you. It's, yeah, it's, it's we terrible. know you know what you're talking about. You come with a certain gravitas to your it's, commentary. It's, yes, it's it's, ter it's terrible. And he is just <laughs> fall. He falls in with her because she is validating what he. She's validating the narrative that he wants to put out. She's the only person that would that that's doing that, and so that's why he sticks with her. And she's the only thing he has left. It is. Mm. And I don't know how. My question for you, Fran, is how does what happens without this uh, tablet? How is he going to operate without a tablet? That Judge Manning took away. From I'm him? only hoping they took it. Like I'm, well, I'm. I was concerned that they have not confiscated the tablet yet. Um, I'm anxious to hear what phone calls has coming up, like in Feb, like post, post court, like his last d days with the tablet. Like when he got back from jail, how long was it before they separated him from the tablet? Um, number probably one, probably I would away. hope so. I would hope so. But you know, sometimes it's kind of like, okay, we just got the order. Judge Manning said no more tablet. Um, and fork it over and how they because he's gonna he's going to miss he does a lot of his services online so i don't know if he's going to only be able to go to like a kiosk now be able to order he has to order his commissary 
um, you know, I guess there's certain things, but maybe there's some other user option for him um, without, you know, with him being, he's basically on punishment. He's on punishment on his punishment. Yeah. But, um, I wonder what drove that, though. Uh, well, okay. We so we that. look, we know. I mean, number one, I'm going to look. This is, this is, this happened. So when Sylvia went to Cobb County, she told us, she asked some questions of the jailer. And what if you're Fulton and you're not supposed to have a tablet? So it's quite possible he lost his tablet, number one. Like he's, he's never, he's not, he shouldn't have had it to begin with. So not saying it's not <laughs> Sylvia's fault, but I'm just saying it, I think it was bought back into the stream of consciousness. Um, that was bubbled up potentially. Um, I, I don't know. It's possible that was bubbled up. And the fact that he's mm -hmm. got a tablet, he's a Fulton County inmate. Um, he's not supposed, he was never supposed to have it. So he should feel lucky that all of this time that he was afforded a option that was not for him because mm. he wasn't supposed to have it. And even though the Fulton County inmates get to have that luxury, um, he is now denied that luxury. So it'll be interesting just from a cohort standpoint when his cohorts see him like, hey, you don't get to have the tablet anymore. Like what happened? So because, you know, they're going to notice that he doesn't have the tablet for his two hour for his two hours, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just kind of strange they took it away. And again, I'll always say I can't wait to. I'm looking forward to the trials because we, we've got to get to the bottom of this. I'm, I'm waiting to hear what his defense is. Although Sonya, his his great friend Sonya, has floated multiple defenses, so. You know, no, there will be no surprises because she's pretty much used them all up out here in the streets telling people what he was going to say. Uh, but I, I'm do just, you think I'm it was curious. it was just dumb luck that um, not dumb luck? You know, what I mean, like I just in all due respect, like, do you think it was just kind of one of those? Oh, and by the way, if he has a tablet, he needs to turn in his tablet. Do you think Judge Manning was like a oopsie daisy type I of thing or what, what's your theory on it? I don't know. There's something else. Do you think There's a, he, there was a letter writing campaign to Judge Manning um, from the YouTube streets? Like, hey, Judge Manning, did you, Nesto's coming back. Do you know that he still has a tablet? And she got like 25 letters from the good I, I, people of the YouTube streets. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't Can know. Anybody YouTube streets who's here right now, would you like to put your hand up if you wrote Judge Manning and let us know? Did you narc on Nesto? Who was narc he, on was Nesto? He, was he emailing the lawyers? his attorneys and the attorneys kind of got tired and said, by the way, why does this guy even have a tablet in the first place? Uh, he's spreading. Mm. Remember, remember he made a statement about, they said he was spreading lies. Mm. All the lawyers were liars. Remember, remember, remember mm. that, that, that comedy made? I and do. Said, I, I do. I wasn't yeah. yeah. About them. We just listened to that again this morning. Yeah. So that may have been it. It's, it could be, a, it just seems, she took it away, but she didn't really explain why. I wish she. So I you think said, possibly his own team, his own not paid for lawyer, who has to do her job as an attorney, said, "You know what, sir needs to have a seat." And it's possible. I'm gonna just it's make possible. sure I'm gonna. You think maybe his own lawyer said, "You know what, you get in these visits, you get to talk to this chick on the phone." I don't need you messaging me all the time and I don't need you narking me downtown to the DA's office either putting my name in Fugazi mail. Correct. Because every, every, mm. you, know, you, you never know. But again, she never explained it. But I'm very curious as to why all of a sudden we want to take this because he's had this 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 pad for for a while. He's had it and, for like a year. It's been like yeah. a year. So why? Um, yeah. Yeah, I wish you... Fulton County would hurry up and get back online so I can get back into my my record search. I I log into that thing like it's my system. Like I log in like I'm going to work. Hey Shirley Raspberry, Shir Shirley's on deck. <laughs> Shirley <laughs> Raspberry has clocked in. Um 
Yeah, I mean, I miss the system so bad. I miss Odyssey. I love to be able to check and see what's going on with the cases and bring the up to the minute, guys. This has processed, this has posted. I mean, it really is. I'm so glad I had started my little notebook of documents because I would be lost right now um, without my notes. Hi, hon. <laughs> Shirley Raspberry says, hi, hon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Joey, I think you told us this before. Um, the YouTube streets is asking, is Joey a married guy? Um, I think the answer is yes. I feel like, does your wife listen along with you? She does sometimes. She does. She does. Sometimes she does, but most of the time I have to kind of, most of the time I have to kind of, we sit at dinner table and we kind of talk about it. So is Mrs. Joey uh, active in the chat? Is she someone we would know in the chat? You don't have to tell no, us her name because no, no, we don't no, want to ruin it. No, no, okay. No, not so she's all. not into the chat aspect. <laughs> she no, just no, listens. No. Okay. She listens. She humors Tell me. Mrs. About that? Joey that she made it to the bougie gang chat this evening. We were we were curious to know what her listening habit is. Um, she's just a listener, guys. Um, but yes, Joey's very much attached. I feel like you told us that um in one of the first or second times that you called in. So I feel yeah, like that time. was, yeah. 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 Okay, good. So it's a kind of a family listen thing. So what's, well, what it's a, I wouldn't say that. No, but I would say this is uh, your, this is your guilty pleasure. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, it's just kind of like, what do, what do you want to talk about tonight? Oh, this is what I, how about, can you believe this? And <laughs> That's it's no more chat. like that. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of that kind of thing. You will not believe what I, you know. So what was say. your, you can't believe this happened moment of last week what what blew your mind last week because i feel last like there was... blew, what, blew, what, what blew my mind last week yes. to be honest, be, and maybe this week was i turned on the uh the box and again you know, it's not like i don't have other things to do but no then, i mean this and, is and, good and, though and it's, and it's on fire because nyla is flaming so child <laughs> And I'm like, good God, what in the hell? Ha but I, but it's not like I didn't know what was going to happen. I knew. I said, I know it's going to happen. It's not. I know it's going to happen at some point in time. I'm waiting for it. And there it is. Uh, so she's. I mean, she's literally flaming. You know, Sylvia. And uh, you know, I don't get into the caddy stuff because all I care about is the legal stuff. But I thought that was pretty funny. So as the legal stuff, okay. So let's talk about the legal stuff. So mm -hmm. he got a reduction in bond. Um, yes. and the CP charges, I tell us what your thoughts are on the CP charges. Cause I feel like they just, I feel like there was stuff there, but they didn't have enough to, or I don't know, maybe they just felt like it, there's not enough to invest in the ROI is with the conspiracy and the financials versus obviously, you know, we need to make sure that people are safe um in cp in those type of pictures but maybe they just felt like they didn't have enough to bring a case home <laughs> and get a win on that so i just i don't i i just still believe that the police are not in the habit of manufacturing evidence and i know in 2024 that that sounds crazy but i just don't believe that they're out there manufacturing on everybody like if if there's some bad cop out there okay fine but i don't how does nesto get to be the most unlucky man on the face of this earth that everything happens to him. Well, so it, I just don't believe it. I think that there was something there. I think that, I mean, th th it is, and this is just me. It is odd. I've never seen, or, or maybe, well, I've never seen, but it just seems to me that they, that, that he's, his, he's getting kind of a raw deal in this good or bad, whether he deserves it or not. We don't know yet. Cause you know, he's still an innocent man as far as, in the eyes of the law. So, um, but the, uh, the CP charge was thrown out for either a couple of re one, it was either obtained. They couldn't keep it because it was going to be thrown out. Uh, it was not what they thought it was, or they had no way of proving it was what they said it was. And they threw it out or maybe it wasn't what they thought it was. You know, it could be on any of those. Like I said, a couple calls ago, that's kind of a binary. Either you're in possession of it or you're not. So, right. you know, it's one of the two. And so I think they just kind of looked at it and said, I, you know, we can't either. We can't t t t we can't prove it is what it is. So we just throw it out. Now, that's good for him because nobody wants that moniker on them. I don't think anybody wants to be that person. Mm -hmm. That's that's not that person. 
Right. Okay. If you are that person, then you you do you deserve that. So, but right. You know, so Absolutely. I'm, 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 so I'm I'm you know I'm relieved, and I and I never thought that was true anyway. But I'm relieved that that's not that's that's gone. The um, uh, do you think that they just made? I mean, they wouldn't have just made that up. They there was there had to be something there, but whatever they yeah. thought it was, or whatever it showed, whatever it was, it wasn't. They're not right, able to bring it to a court. You can you can interpret a lot of things a lot of different ways. It's all subject to how you see it. But the depiction, and, there were four depictions that there's no mistaking what they said. They said it was I, I this. I don't doubt there was an animal. With I don't, that I don't, I don't, yeah, and I don't doubt something there was, else. Again, you they threw it out for oh, a reason. That maybe it could have been said it was CP, but maybe they discovered that it was not. Okay, was maybe not, that's right. what it was. Okay, correct. You, okay, you know, you, you can't prove that it was you know under. You can, We're you not know. able to prove that that's right. actually what they said it right. is, even though like you would think that that's what it was, or could it be CG? Like, was it uh, photoshopped? Right. Was it? it is it is it actually a real person even? Is it AI? Like, there's so many I, things now. Okay, this, I, this, I just know that that's an easy that's an easy win. And if it was real, if it was really that, they would have mm -hmm. gone with that. Okay, if it, if that's that's an easy one. I mean, that's that's an easy one. If you got something like that, are you doing things like that? That's a that's a simple one. And nobody's gonna, you know, that's it. So, but I'm I'm but that's a good thing for him. Now it's the rest of the cases. Yeah, and we'll see on the twenty third how that one goes because he's looking for a bail reduction and uh and and, and, I, think, and I think he may have had a, he may have possibly had a good chance of getting a decent reduction but again if sonia continues to talk and tell everybody what she what she's do what she's doing it i could see a judge saying nah, nope <laughs> nope no bail you know no no bail reduction uh or we, or we no still, bail, right? Or no bail. We 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 feel you know this person may may have maybe may be fearful that you know where they are, you know. So it, it it could be a number of things. I think it's just she needs to just shut in the name of Jesus, just shut the hell up. Stop. What do you think about what she so I guess we're coming full circle now? What do you think about what she said about the victim, her family, how ghetto or ratchet they are? She's running scared. She has because, pictures. Like, what is um? And talks. maybe Sonya she just... sent pictures to a blog. So whether whether so, I was just watching Sylvia's live, and she said something about Sonia sent her some things. So I don't know if she meant like what it, what she was sent or what she wasn't sent. But let's just say Sonya had pictures and Sonya is sending out pictures to the YouTube streets or Sonya is sending because we don't know. She says she's talks to five different bloggers. Um, what if she is actually rather than someone sending her the pic? What if she's the culprit out here disseminating these pictures of the alleged victim like that may even be worse. Forget about her getting the pictures. What if she's out here throwing them out? Well, then, you know, then the courts will have to deal with that if she's actually doing that. And, and I'm sure somebody's checking and, and you know, she'll have to she'll have to answer for that if she's doing that. I'm just saying that to give the, you know, to, you know, uh, you know, Ernest has an uphill battle as it is. And, um, you know, and we want to get it. And, I, and I, I'm sure the system you want to get you want to get it right. You don't want to punish somebody for something they didn't do and you don't want to not punish them for something that they did do so um she just isn't helping and she just kind of i mean and and her just talking off the top of her head having these kind of barbershop beauty shop conversations with him on the at the jailhouse really you know it just shows that it just shows that she really just doesn't uh if, if you were, you know, with friends like she you, doesn't you, provide you know, any value. No, none. None. She she's not, not bringing any value. No. And I think she I think what she's trying to I, I know what she's trying to say is, you know, that these people, you know, these people have a lot of nerve to try to go after you. Uh, but but again, she doesn't really know. Him. I don't. Yeah, I don't. 
Ah. She doesn't know him that well. She doesn't know what he does. She doesn't know all. She doesn't know. She she does not know him. And no, they're just getting to know each other. Right. And I she think that he, when he laughs, when she says things. Um. So yeah, no, I'm not saying that she didn't get the pictures because. Um, so someone's saying those pictures were sent to Sonia, period. I do believe the conversations. I believe the pure conversations. And what I mean by the pure conversations are the conversations before knowledge comes in that everybody is listening. So when they were sitting and she was going for these visits for a year and not one visit showed up on YouTube, the day after those videos dropped, that's no longer a pure conversation. She was talking very comfortably on a lot of these calls, as you can see, even though it's like, oh yeah, I know the prosecutor is listening, da, 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 but nothing was ever leaked. You know what I'm saying? Pers and I'm doing air quotes of, you know, nothing had ever really came out. After that first video showed up on January 22nd, it was a wrap. It was, she's talking about, you know, the war, she's talking about Israel, she's talking about this, she's talking about that. She's trying to dilute and contaminate the conversations now. But all those conversations, the host of conversations that have not been dropped yet for the YouTube streets, that is all pure, unadulterated Nesto and Sonia chat. And her saying that she was sent something, I do believe that she was sent something by someone. Um, and but is she above sending that out to people? Because when Sylvia who scrolled she through who her, she I don't know. I mean, she says she said she she said she was talking to. She never said a name, but she said she was alluding to her conversations initially with Sylvia. Now, as far as who sent her the pictures, I need to go back to that conversation to really zero in. But I mean, for the most part, the whole entire conversation was revolving around the time period right before she did the interview. And she went live to say that she wasn't talking about one person in particular, that she talks to like five different vloggers, which I don't, or bloggers. I don't really believe that, but whatever, maybe she does. Um, I, you know, I, I don't, you know, she's I, I really, yeah. See, I don't believe it. I don't, I don't believe she's talking to a lot of bloggers. I think she's no. Uh, talking, I mean, talking, look, she's she's, talking, she's, she's had, had several with... interviews, and she may still be shopping interviews with people. I don't know, but I just think that when she was sitting there talking to Nesto, no matter what was going on, that's what happened. Not that she doesn't lie to him, because I do think she does engage in some exaggerated comment, uh, in exaggerated. Uh, conversations with him like she makes things seem a little bit more than what they are but for the most part her kind of dishing on basically I felt like almost like she had someone in the palm of her hand um, she was she was kind of talking like she was dishing and when he said you talking to a man you talking to a and and she was like no no I was talking to someone else um, and you know she just to me, I felt like it was coming across as she was happy to be aligning with someone who I think she was going to try to use. I feel like she's just she was trying to use the situation to continue to push her agenda. Well, of course. But I think that if you if you listen to the last call, you know, his lawyers are talking to him now. And yeah. he's saying, you know, they, they, you know, it's embarrassing. It's like seventy five dollars on my GoFundMe. and. Yeah, like you're uh, doing, so, you're not doing right. a good job. <laughs> and then she immediately goes to the default position of, well, it's the bloggers' fault. It's the bloggers. They they've been telling everyone that you're a monster out there. Yeah. Well, you could have told Who me that. Who said that he's a monster? Well, that's well, that's what she 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 was parroting his words, I think. Uh, but uh, nobody but ever called him a monster. You could. Have I don't know. Maybe that. some people did, but I I don't know. I didn't hear it. But she could have told him that weeks ago that there's a lot of talk out here and nobody's, you know, they're, they're saying some, you know, it's not favorable. Um, and he would have known about it. So he seems to be, there's an information, there's an information lag for him. He, he's not, again, he's in a box. He's like inside of a closet and there are people outside and someone's telling him what's going on outside, what's going on out here. 
and mm-hmm. he has to visualize it, but they're not telling him every. And she's and she's the worst person to do it. She's not telling him everything. Uh, I don't know. I don't think she understands that she's it. It's not like he's gonna, you know, fire you. It's not like he's gonna say, "Don't bother me again." Uh, I, I don't. I don't quite understand. I think why. he halfway doesn't want to even hear it when she starts talking That's about it. Too. Sometimes he's interested in the tea, and sometimes he's kind of like, "Well, so what else is going on?" Oh, Joey. Wait, Joey, you back? Okay. Um, I think sometimes he doesn't even want to hear it. What do you think about, did you watch Sylvia's live when she was telling her to refer to the ACLU and Sonia, the experienced paralegal, legal mind, Sonia Cochran, Thurgood Marshall, Sotomayor, Durham, did not know who the ACLU was? Well, I'm not surprised. She knows the Innocence Project, but she doesn't know the ACLU. Because she does. I was know like, anything. that nullified everything. I was like, ma'am, if you say it's civil one more time, I'm done. That's like literally all I'm done. she knows to say. I'm done. She doesn't, she doesn't know anything. And, and when you start, who was the, who interviewed her? Lenore? B. Lenore? Yes. And she literally started falling apart as she was interviewing <laughs> her. I was watching. She was her acting head was like down. a 12 year old when she got mad and she Correct. started scrolling through her phone. I was like, right. Oh, you're giving so seventh grade. Like you are right. so giving me sixth, seventh grade attitude right now. She, she literally was just falling <laughs> apart. It, every, every the lines were. It was. She was just checking out. Look, you know, looking down. It, it's yeah. It, it's making uh, her faces. How she contorts her face. Her her face. It, it was. It was just terrible. I, I don't. I. I. I don't know, and that I don't was know where hilarious. this is. I love that I was my favorite is. interview of the YouTube street so far. I mean, the Tasha K. I'm actually going to go through the Tasha K. interview tonight because I want to find the part where she says she was married for four months, and then on V. Lenore, she said it was like I don't know four or five years. Not that that makes a huge difference, but it's it's the it's the minor things. What? Okay, so let me ask you one other question. What do you think about Sonia putting herself in a position time after time after time to be noticed? Like, there's a lot of girlfriends out here that just kind of stay in their girlfriend or side chick place. Do you think that she has some sort of, there's some sort of bad psychology going on with her that she really wants to be in the front? Like, she wants to be the pretty one in the relationship? Okay. Um because yeah, she she can't even let the criminal be the criminal. Like she has to, she wants to stand out so bad. Of course, I mean it's, <laughs> there's a, yeah. Uh, it, I mean it, it showed in the uh, with the GoFundMe. She put her picture up first, not his picture. I mean her you, psychology is so weird. I mean, clear, clearly, you could have put his picture up. She's like, you know, yeah, you didn't have a picture at all me. of Instagram. Uh. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of that going on, but it, but again, Ernest attracts people that have these kind of things going on. Nobody in his sphere is clean. Everybody's got something going They're on. They're all dirty. They're Even all dirty. Shirley, so, Shirley might not yeah. have a uh, anything on her background, but sis is sis is suspect. Like I said, I don't want to see her on someone's couch saying that she was a complete. She was total. I was a total victim of all of this. I never knew it was happening. Speaking never, ever so eloquently. I, I do not. I, that that would be. I, I really she, don't believe if that. If she books Gail King after her book comes out, we're going to. Uh, two busloads of Bougie Gang is going to be at CBS <laughs> Studios to meet her concern. outside. It's like, Shirley, come outside. We need to talk to you. You are not going on Gail King talking that mess. Hopefully she won't. Hopefully she will just kind of not. She'll she'll she will not. She'll just kind of shy away from the light and not not deal with it at all. But I do not want to see her stand up and say that this guy completely fooled me. I had no idea that he was doing these things. And, uh, you know, I, I don't because that would be just not truthful at all. Okay. Okay, I have a question and, for you from a lady 747. She says, please ask Joey if Doug is acting improperly with Sonia. Because I guess Doug, the investigator of the legal team, has yes. um, become the, def- he is the go-to man. Um, she is not to call Hannah. And if she has any questions, she is to call him directly. What is... No, Doug, the, 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 his attorneys have essentially, to me, this, this is what I think. His attorneys have said, we're not talking to her, but they want to, they, but they it's want no to play civil. Case. 
they want to placate <laughs> Nest. They want to placate Nesto. So Nesto <laughs> says, "I can't. I need to have somebody. I need to have a liaison between the the judge. I need my mouthpiece, the, the lawyers, and me." So they yes, said, "Well, then talk to Doug. Doug will be your Doug will be your point of contact. Don't bother us. Bother him." We're, the yes, we're researching. Right. And Doug is going to tell her, yeah, we're still working on it. Yeah, it's it's, it's coming. And yeah, nice to see you. <laughs> and then that'll be that. So I don't think that's improv. That, that's not from Doug. That's from the I believe that's from the that's from his defense team. Just basically trying to put some kind of firewall between themselves and and Sonia, because Sonia was constantly bothering and, on, you know, on behest of Nesto, I would like to believe. Uh, and they just don't have the bandwidth or the patience uh, to to really deal with her. They're supposed to she be... comes off with so much authority, but she really isn't talking about anything. Right. And then she's Neither insulting to top it off. I mean, if the girl is nervous in court, people do get the jitters. I mean, if you have a big presentation at work and you have to go take two sips of water because your CFO is coming to coming to the meeting and you've got um, you know, you've got C-suite presence at the meeting. It's okay to be nervous. It's, you know, when you're, I mean, it's okay to be nervous at work. And the fact that she keeps criticizing this girl and trying to downplay her law degree, her experience, her being assigned a case, her having your man's case, I think mm -hmm. is not a good idea because right, if but... she decides to not do her best job, or doesn't do her best job. I mean, Sonia can take some of the blame for that. I think. I don't right. think Hannah would not do a good job on purpose, but, but it's like. What? I just thought of this. You know what? Sonia can dig out her law degree and defend him. Oh, she well, doesn't have. She doesn't have one exactly. So, <laughs> Luke. <laughs> so I, I, again, she's just telling. But that feeds the psych, the, the psychosis of, of of Ernest. That just feeds him again. This well, it's yeah, it's making another fall guy. Sabrina said in the chat, another fall guy, because if Nesto loses, they're going to blame it on Hannah. Yeah. Um, Poor but, defense, not, not good lawyers, not, not his case. Again, I want to get this. I want to see this thing get to trial so we can kind of lay out all the facts, because I think that's that's what bothers me is that we, we just don't know. We only hear one side of it. We've only heard one side of it. And I have not heard Ernest side I, I have not heard his ver his side of these events and how these things happen and i re i'm really i've heard what so uh, sonia is saying but but anyway but i want to hear what he has to say about these things yeah tell us I about really being in the second floor office at candy relliford's house um on zoom when she went into the court proceedings on your civil case with one of the Harleys that were parked out in front of your house um, that has your wife and your stepdaughter's name on it. And she clocked in as April Holloway. Can you talk to us about that, Mr. Nesto? Yeah. Can yeah. you tell us how that did? How did you end up in that office with, with April Holloway at Candy Relliford's house next door to the house where you have a lease that you said you don't? I didn't know those folks. I was just keeping stuff over there. I was just keeping, my, yeah. And I thought, do you know uh, Candy Relliford? No. Do you know April Holloway? Holloway? No. Did you know no. Erica King to be a lawyer? No. Yes. Yes. She was a lawyer. She told me she, she was, was a, a lawyer. lawyer. Oh yeah, she was a lawyer. She told me she she knew that stuff. She had a mouthpiece on her. She told me she, she was a knew. Lawyer. I went off of that. I went. I went with that. She said she was a lawyer. I went with that. Okay. Again, I don't know. I don't know. You have to. We laugh. We laugh about it, but we have to get it in court so we can see lay it all out so we can see where it's going to go. Because then, then, then I'm telling you, then it will make the 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 seed will you, part. The skies will open. Did you hear that James Relaford is deceased? And James Relaford was not a deacon on the letterhead that had his name. That was a letter of reference for Erica King. Would that surprise you hearing that little tidbit of information that James Relaford, number one, is deceased and he was not a deacon at the church that had that the letterhead was presented on for a reference letter um, used by Erica King um, in that bail? Did you watch that bail hearing I where Majeski laid her out? You got to watch, watch it. it. Oh my God, Majeski did one of his 10 minute 
kind of laying out of the evidence of the facts. Um, well, not the evidence, but more so his 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 10 minute kind of elevator speech narrative of what Erica King has been doing out here on uh, on the streets of Roswell. And he it was and her lawyer, all of that. It's um, I think I posted it like two Sundays ago, um, but it was her initial bail hearing. I right. Have to look for it. Yeah, it was I think it was right before. What she did. Um, she was she had gotten beaten. Sorry. Say it again. Was she there? Was she in? in a yeah, community? she was in like a. It was more of like a community room, so she was there with a couple of other prisoners. But I guess she had to sit, come sit forward, um, for them to address her. But yeah, okay. we talked about it. Um, I'll look, I'll, I will look for I'll this share it on the there. community post um, okay. right after we're done. Um, but it's, it was specifically her bail hearing and, um, they went through like, she's lost custody of her kid. They talked about her health condition. They said that she was going to be maybe looking for a proffer. Um, so this was a bail here. So this was the first bail hearing. Um, the bails were set and then subsequently her next bail hearing was coming up and that's when she got the UJR. So this wasn't the one when she got the UJR. Um, I think within that 90 day period, she was going to get the, she got the UJR because there was also a beating that she sustained after the initial bail hearing and they beat her up. Um, it was pretty bad. She had to go to Grady. She had to get, um, you know, x-rays. I, I can't even in that, in that video or the one right after I read a couple of the letters that she wrote to the judge um, regarding the beating that she sustained and also having to sleep in wastewater because the South annex has flooding and some, and she's, you know, they basically made her sleep on the cot in her dorm. It's like a five person dorm, but there's like three people sleeping on the floor and she ends up sleeping in sewage. So pretty bad. And she also can't get MS medication there. So I I read some of that stuff. Those two live streams have all that information in it. Hmm. Yeah, he South, someone just South dropped South a Michigan. comment saying DA Majeski is like a 10-minute SNL performance only with words. It was timeless. It was pretty epic. Yeah, you got to, I'm surprised you missed that. It was good. Um, it was kind of one of those missing pieces we hadn't seen because they did talk a lot about her showing up to court um, initially for the ba for the dispossessory for Shirley's property with Nesto. I have to find. And, I have to. See, I have to see it. That'll be something. I oh my god, see. it's epic! It's it, it, it's like when Jonathan Salmon came to court on Nesto that one time. And he just went on and on and on and on about everything that Nesto had done, the repeat offend. I mean, just everything. Um, those have been like the best ones. Jonathan Salmon and Kevin Majeski are like, they're just, they just, they just drop everything that you needed to know. But yeah, I'll share both of those. Um, I would title? start with the bail hearing. Uh, I'll get it. Let me okay. get it. Um, I think it's just Erica King bail hearing. <laughs> Okay. Um, but I'll get it from the playlist and I'll drop it for you. But yeah, anyone else have any other questions for Joey? Everybody always loves when Joey comes to the chat. So um thank you for making, you know, for dropping in and calling in. And um, what else do you what else what else is there? I feel like we're missing something. Is there anything else? Um was that uh, the biggest moment? Was that Nyla um that yeah, that yeah, that things was, that kind of really, erupted on the YouTube streets yeah, outside of the case. Is that again, what it was? I, I, again, and I can't, I mean, I hate to say this, but I can't say I didn't see it coming. I knew it was going to come at some point in time. Somebody was going to attack somebody. And um, why do you think that is? Is that just because that's just YouTube culture? I feel like that, like, no one should really be shocked because this is what happens on YouTube. Like, it could be the makeup community, it could be you don't do a good smoky eye and someone's coming for you. You don't you like you like Mustangs and someone likes Camaros. Someone is coming for you. So why were you like? Uh, it's you know it's kind of how it's kind of what I kind of what I what I know. Maybe life okay. has taught me that is you have people. You got everybody. Everybody's 
working. Everybody's in the same lane, doing the same, doing kind of doing the same thing. So how do you how do you differentiate yourself between someone else? And there's always a there's always a there's usually a person who perceives someone is either doing something wrong or unfair or you know and so that's kind of what happens and and i well, why does it have to be dissension because of that i mean it, everybody it yeah it, because it, it i don't want to get myself in trouble here but it's, it's it doesn't have to be but it just is and uh when you if you listen to the rhetoric if you listen to the rhetoric of the of the various bloggers again i don't spend too much time on this i, I you know I, I check in every so often but uh some of this some of this stuff is really really to me inflammatory i was like i mean i, I listen to there's, a, there's one blogger that i think is really over the over the top with it and is really i, I mean I'm, I, I get it but uh but then, but again to to flip it on and then there's this thing with sylvia and I understand what's and, and and Sylvia was Sylvia was doing some things that I don't necessarily agree with. I, I would go into people's houses, you know, kind of looking, going through, her, you know, I was like, that's a little over the top, it's a little bit much. But that's how she differentiates differentiates herself from everyone else. She's the person that kind of goes into the belly of the beast, I suppose. Well, so, do you ever watch JLR Investigates, Jonathan Lee Riches? No, I haven't. Okay, JLR Investigates. This guy. Um, he was parked out in front of Carly Russell's house. He he went to the spa where she worked. He was over there on the other side of the highway the night that she said, you know, the day after she said she disappeared. I think his video went viral of going mm -hmm. down into the woods. Um, a lot of people reused and shared his stuff from his kind of initial investigations out there. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of people say he's crazy and stuff like that, but he is a YouTuber that's kind of like a boots-on-the-ground YouTuber that when something happens, he's there, he's vlogging about it, he's trying to talk to people. He's like a he's like one of these like roving reporters, but he's he's a YouTuber. And I think some people don't like him. They think he's crazy, but let the truth be told we don't always have a camera following around the New York times reporters or the paparazzi. That is what they do. So mm -hmm. going to someone's house to knock on the door, who's an active investigation, all they have to do is say, we're not answering any questions and you leave, but being on a live stream or post, you know what I mean? That's where it, like for some people, right. like, oh, oh my God. It's, <laughs> but you know, some people want to see that, you know, like back, you know, how many people have like the eyewitness news when they're like, we went and knocked on so-and-so's house. Like when the young lady went missing here and I can't remember her name right now. Um, there was a lady who was missing. She did end up, uh, she was deceased. The boyfriend did kill her um, probably within two, three days of her being missing. They went and knocked on his door several times. Uh, they uh, had several search warrants in the home. They named him a person of interest. The news van, like, when, when uh, Shankula Robinson, uh, the, the, her, her, uh, the mates that she went on the trip with, they went and knocked on all those people's houses. They went to all the apartments. You know what I mean? That's what reporters do. So I don't, I didn't necessarily have a problem with that unless we're not considering people a reporter. You know what I mean? I don't do that type of reporting, but I'm not, if that's what someone does on their channel to me that I'm not. I'm not getting in. You know what I mean? I have no, it was, it was, I have no little, opinion on it. You know what I mean? Like it's little, just, that's what they do little, over there. It was a little cringy for me, but yeah. that's me. I'm like, I'm like I don't Is it know because if I do that. They don't I don't, I don't have an issue for a network it. or like, well, why would it be cringy? Is it because they're independent and it's dangerous? Well, if you're going to the, if you're going to the court and getting documents is one thing. That's, that's, that's completely, uh, you know, fair game. Mm -hmm. but just knocking on, I mean, it's, I don't know. It's, I wouldn't it's do kinda, it. But I just wouldn't. I know newscasters do like there are reporters that do that. So but is they, there a they difference? Do, but, they, but, they're, but, they're, but they're, but they are, but they are, they target that it's, it's targeted. It's targeted toward the actual subject of the investigation. So, or the, or the news story to do that with, 
I don't know, just kind of, you know, I'm going to you know, over here, Erica King, and I'm going to go to the beauty shop and see and see where Shirley, if, if she, I mean, that, that was No, I think it was bit. to go talk to Panay. P- talk to Panay. And they did, uh, they did talk to Panay. Yeah, and... she kind of told you. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of kinda said, yeah, and it, you just kind of, again, it's cringy for me, not something mm-hmm. that I would do. Um, I think, that, but again, I think the court thing, getting documents, reading the doc, putting that, I think that's great. I think that's actually a public service for people okay. that don't know thank how to doc. Thank you, thank that you. Don't, that is, because that's, that is, that's, that's for the public. And most of us don't get it's, a chance. It's to educating, see. yeah. It is, it's very. So they don't get a chance to see how these things work. Uh, for example, the bougie, get, you know, this entire case has opened up for every, if you're, if you are thinking of committing a crime, if you have contemplated it, if you're sitting on the fence right now, deciding whether or not you want to do that, that do that or not, you might want to think twice about it because now your communications can be public and everybody's going to be able to hear it. It'll be on the internet. Is it, is that worth whatever you're going to do? I would, I, I would be personally, I say no, but it's good that we know that this, this is possible. This is doable. I don't think most most people don't know that, in especially in this, I guess in Georgia, in that state, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that uh, you know your phone calls and your course and your jail visits are public through a FOIA request. I don't think anybody knew that. Most people don't. Did most people had no idea that that was. Uh, well, you know, you I may think we see that, them from time to time, but yeah, I don't think the the uh, like bringing Not it to the stream of consciousness to this degree, especially for this collective. Absolutely. Well, the Suge Knight calls are showing up, and of course the Adelsons now. Um, right. There's They're there showing, is there's a few channels showing, that do this. They're showing up now, but most of us did not know this. So you know, you go to jail now. You know, it's kind of like Goodfellas. Your girlfriend visits. You know, those those calls oh my can, God. are going to be. Is that not hilarious? <laughs> So when you, she saw yeah. when uh Karen right, saw the visitors box. log and she's yeah. like you tell her to bring this stuff to you i'm not <laughs> doing it anymore i love karen i love her you oh know, my so god you, you tell so her to what, bring it so that's what dre <laughs> that's what dre means by saying i don't know how you're gonna get out of this one i don't know how you're gonna really get out of this oh one. it's he's he's because, done because you he's done really i mean uh, even the best of us I mean, but it's hard to, you know, yeah. yeah. Mm. I have a couple yeah. of questions for you before. Sure. Uh, so, Joey, are you Dawson Speaks? Who's Dawson Speaks? Who's Dawson Speaks? Someone said, Joey, are you Dawson oh, Speaks? Dawson Maybe that's the channel or oh, someone. No, is, I, I am. Are you I from not, another channel? I am not from another channel. I am not Dawson Speaks. I only talk okay. to you. I'm okay. Oh, okay. This is a bougie gang exclusive. Okay. Yeah. I only I only really talk to you. Oh. You know, from, from my uh, from my you know from my from the Bat Cave. From, from my Bat Cave, uh, you know, <laughs> my uh, you know, sanctuary of solitude. I mean, that's it. Oh, okay. The yeah. man cave. Okay. I have yeah, another I question really for you. Sure, um, sure. Or I'm going to read it to you. Natasha on Facebook says, I think the lawyers asked for it to be taken away. I wouldn't be surprised if the prosecution had access to it and the defense lawyers thought it wasn't worth the risk. That's what Natasha is saying on Facebook. Thoughts? That's a very good point. That's a very good point. I, I, I can't. I mean, it's possible. It makes mm-hmm. sense. I mean, logically, okay. it makes sense. Because but again, the judge took it away for some reason, and she did not articulate why. Mm-hmm. And you know, and and when and usually when they take things away from you, it's usually punitive. Mm. Um, okay. I mean, they take you know they, they take a privilege from you. It's usually punitive. It means you you've probably done something that you're not supposed to do, and uh, they certainly wouldn't. If it was helping your, I mean, uh, if it was helping you, helping your case, your defense would speak up against that. They'd say, no, 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 you can't do that. But no, I think it's punitive. I think it's something that he's doing something on that thing that he's not supposed to do. 
or they're worried that he's going to do something he's not supposed to do. Mm -hmm. and, and so they took it. I mean. So what type of YouTube video comments does he think is inflammatory? That's from Ty. Not Ty the jeweler, Ty Woods. YouTube videos are inflammatory. No, I said. Yeah. There are some bloggers. <laughs> oh, there are some bloggers who are there, making inflammatory the, comments. Okay. I don't when I say inflammatory, they're inflammatory to me. And, and actually it's not just your opinion. It's, Doesn't mean that they are inflammatory. Opinion. In to your me. opinion, they they're there's cringe. A, there, there's a certain blog, there's a certain blogger who is who has a huge following, and we know who this is. And I think they're they and they have a they have a acts to grind about a certain topic which we get i get it i know who sonya we know who sonya is we know what sonya is but are you talking again, about tasha k no no we're talking about nyla <laughs> so, oh so I was... we, we get it we get it but let's you know I'm, I'm focused on the case uh i think pam does a very good esquire does a pretty good job of kind of laying out some things uh uh laying it laying it out but I think some of that stuff is a little bit, a little bit after a while you go, okay, I, I got it. Uh, okay. But you want to learn, but you want to, you know, but the commentary you guys do is fantastic. It's really good. You're, you're yeah, I mean, I think that, that I don't catch. some people do like, look, everyone has like, just like how every channel is different. People have their hot button issues. I definitely am a keep your legs close to married men. Like that's that's become a mantra. That's become a that's that's part of the series. I think everybody. <laughs> I think I, I think everybody is saying that, and we we get it. <laughs> I think we get it. Okay, I'm, I'm from, from the men. I'm speaking from the men. I get it. All right, we got it. We we got it. But I you know. um. What is this? Okay. Okay. Just one. Okay, there I'm on the Okay, I'm sorry. I was getting uh my daughter was bringing me a snack. Um uh but yeah, yeah we, I think get, people have their platforms and they have kind of the reoccurring theme. And yeah. um I get it. You know what I mean? Like everyone's so like a Howard Stern versus a Wendy Williams versus Tom Joyner versus Steve Harvey. Like everybody's, they may all talk about the same topic. Everybody does it different. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, and I'm telling you, I think Sonya, Sonya is, is so bad. This is how now to, you know, you t it, it, to, to her credit, so, you know, uh, by, Repeating the mantra that Sonya is a hoa over and over and over and over again. Sonya is out here trying to rehabilitate her image to, to a horrible effect. And it's, it's just doing all kind of stupid stuff that she shouldn't be doing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, look, there is a town square element apparently. to the YouTube street. I know. There's I know. a main street. I know. I know. There's town square. There is the scarlet letter. There yes. is, um, there's all of that. And unfortunately, ma'am doesn't know how to quiet herself down. I think no. that people, if you change the optics, you can change the conversation. Sonia hasn't done anything to afford a change of the conversation by people who get a laugh or think it's appropriate to. You know, I, I like to use slur. I probably haven't been using it enough um, late on this channel. Um, but I do use it a lot on Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts. Is it inflammatory? Absolutely. Because that's, I mean, it's, it's slur. I mean, slur, 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 right? I love that word, slur. Ever since I heard it, I love it. That's so appropriate um, for some things. Um, but, you know, like, I just, mine is keep your legs close to married men. I just feel like, I love it. Sonia, and it bothers her. So it's not it, to be, it, it really it, bothers her. It, and when really you guys does. make it rain in the chat too, I think she's really mad. Like it she gets really mad. Does. She's like, they're messy for money. They're messy. They're messy for money. They do it on purpose. 
Well, yeah, you think I come out here like just because I, mean, I used to do it just because. But once I got myself monetized, I mean, yes, messy. Like it's not just messy for money, but this is I'm providing an entertainment service piece that people enjoy. Like it's yeah. it's a value to someone for the people that it's not a value for. It's not a value. Um, and that's OK. But um you know, uh, I get it, but you know, we, it, it is entertaining for some, cause people do like, you know, some people do like the, uh, the drama of it. And some of the drama of it is the slur. It's the keep your legs closed. It's the, it's not civil. And also who are like, they just, it's part of the drama. It's part of the cachet and it's, it's drama, but also Joey, um, she shouldn't be here listening because these reactions are about her. They are not for her. No one invited her to come to get her but feelings hurt. I would t I would submit to her that maybe she... The problem is, if she, that's the problem. She's listening, but she's she's missing the, she's missing the benefits of what... She's she missing the doing. value of the actual conversation. Correct. She's, she she's tuned into in the, the wrong thing. Correct. Yes. She can't she's mad about that. whore... But Correct. she's not taking the advice. Like Correct. she's not heeding the message. She's just hearing the digs. And Correct. she's she's here for the entertainment like everybody else. But sis, you should actually have a pen and a piece of paper. You should actually be taking notes. Meanwhile, everyone else, you don't have the bandwidth to laugh. You shouldn't be laughing and entertained by this. You should actually be taking notes. Exactly. I hear you. So, I hear you so, on that. So 100%. That, that's, that's, yeah. Because so we have gone up and down this case. Like, yeah, she's been, even she, though we do it would, silly, and we've talked about you, this case plenty. And I would tell you, if she was really tuned in and listened to the blog, and listened to the bloggers a little bit, she probably wouldn't lie as much as she does because she, she would know what you know. Like, what, sis, you get ready to be busted again, right? You, 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 I, so I think she listens just enough to hear the uh, name calling. She kind of cuts it, you know, shuts it down, and she's missing it, missing. Some she's missing the the things that you need to hear, which would be pretty much shut up. Uh, and you don't. And I would tell if I saw her today, I'd say you, you know you know I I I know why you I know what you're I think I know what you're trying to do. You're not really as helpful as you think you are. You don't really know him that well. Uh, you know probably you know you would be you'd be you'd be better served as to is to kind of keep a very 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 low profile uh, you're not going to be you're not going to change your image you're not going to be able to float another narrative uh you are unfortunately for what you know she is really all he has at this point in time he, mm -hmm. i mean that's a fact so and be and that's you know that's kind of how it works some you know at, at you know that's how it works uh, absolutely and so and i think she she that. listens to Ness, to uh to nyla's channel yeah. she listens her andre they seem to know everything that's going on every comment that is made she's just said because she cannot steer the narrative and she doesn't like people calling her out for what it is, she, and she, and it is what it is. I mean, if it if it hurts, it probably applies. She should know by now. She can't steer the narrative because the narrative is the narrative, and yeah. you can, and she can't steer it. She can't float another. You know, you can't float this alternate. You know, this these alternate facts out there. It's not going to work. So no. you just make yourself look really stupid. Not only you know. On top of everything else, you're looking really. You, you you don't make yourself. You're not putting yourself in the best light. Yeah, nobody. You know, yeah, no one. And no one feels sorry for you. No. no like, one, well, no one that's does. not true. Let me stop that because there are some people who actually she has she has supporters now. Um, however, uh, n the people that um, that don't support don't support. That's it. Well, again, in in the end. When this is all over and done, you got to think about where everybody's, where all the pieces on the on the chessboard are going to be, you know, wh what's happening. So, I don't know. I just, uh, yeah, I just, you know, I worry about that young lady somewhat. But 
Like, oh, she's all right. Box. She's 55. She's she's she'll be all right. She has a son. She has a daughter it, who's in her 30s. It, she's a grandmother. Yeah. Ma'am needs to be a little bit more resourceful. She's not a young lady. I don't I don't know why it matters if she's 97 pounds or 397 pounds. Every, she's every, she has had three two woman, children. She's a grown woman. woman. Every woman in this scenario is a, is over a certain age, and they're all making horrible, horrible mistakes. Everybody, horrible okay. decisions. From from uh, from the, the teacher to the real estate. I mean, everybody's making bad decisions. Everybody, everybody. Yes. So, and I'm and I sit and go, <laughs> are, how is this possible? How is it? How how is one man able to find so many? To find all these kind of broken people, how, how are you able to do that? Because birds uh, of a feather flock together. I hate to be corny. They're they uh, are birds uh, of a feather. They are good fellows. Um, Vicky wants to know: Does Joey think they will try them? I don't know who she means by try them. Um, does that? Joey think they will try them together? Uh, maybe all the essay charges. I'm not sure, so Vicky. Vicky. Vicky, who who is them? You mean the charges together? Try them together. People? I don't. I don't think I'm mm -hmm. gonna just go venture to guess that the financial crimes, the conspiracy, will have nothing to do with the sex crimes. That I, I'm just gonna say that's gonna be two separate things. I agree with you. I think that's that's about right. I, I can't. Yeah, they're, 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 that's two different things. Because if you read the again, I can't wait until the trial. But if you read the the, the incident report from the police. Uh, you know, some of that stuff sound on the for the financial crimes. You know, I could I don't know. I see if I was a juror or a judge and you came to me and, and you presented that document to me. And then you and then Ness Ernest shows up and says, hey, they gave me this money. I would be like, uh, you know, mm, <laughs> I have to kind of believe that you gave him most of it. Uh, you may not have given him giving them all of it but you certainly you may, you know you certainly get you know the first the first he may have taken you know the first couple of bucks may have been kind of you kind of tricked out of but the net the, the, the next money you seem to just give give him money over and over and over and over again so i don't know if that's necessarily tricking him out of money i don't i don't see you you gave him the money because that's what he's going to say he's going to say they gave me this money um uh, I guess if she's got text messages and emails, because I mean, seventy thousand, ninety thousand dollars—that's an awful lot of money without having some emails of what you're supposed to be doing with the money. If you're supposed to be doing something with the money, I just and I just I don't get it. Um, let me ask you this: This is from KK. She says, "Joey, could it be because the other bonds have no internet, and him having it was just recognized by the judge? So maybe there were some other." Um, stipulations on other orders um, for his bonds that he was to have no internet access that, and this that, was just a bleed over of like a housekeeping item? That is, I mean, that that's possible too. I mean, it's very possible. It, it's my understanding. I, when he had the CP charge, I was curious as to how he had a tablet in the first place because usually you can't have any internet. So I was, I was, again, I'm using kind of common sense logic here but i'm but i'm I, but i get in trouble all the time for that i was thinking that those tablets don't have internet capability to go out that you can email mm -hmm. but you don't necessarily have the ability to search the web see what i'm saying right uh so they, they're they supposedly have like an intranet so it's probably it's supposed yeah. to be behind some sort of you know kind of like an interior firewall of some right. limited access type right you know so like you encyclopedia and right maybe but like time magazine limited websites right. it's limited so I, I was assuming that that's what it was so, and also like portals portals to get right. your commissary and things of that nature um right. vicky wants to know does joey think Shirley will take Nesto back. <laughs> uh, I would. Uh, I have. I would hazard the guess. The answer is no. Simply because, you know, I've been in the game a long time. You know, I've been at this a long. You can. <laughs> there's a rule. You know, you can. 
you can break some of the rules, but you can't break them all, <laughs> especially not at the same time. Uh, and I think Shirley is no, nah, I, I, you know, anything's possible, but I, I just can't see. I think th this is there's so there's so much going on. Uh, you know, I don't I don't know if Shirley has the bandwidth to really deal with him after. I, I don't I don't. Yeah, know. I. I don't. I, I like it. six months ago. I wouldn't have been surprised if she would have snuck, you know, a little snuck her little husband back. But after everything, after yeah. literally, ma'am has been dragged by her eyeballs, and it's the carrying on. It's the, it's just her, um, Sonya kind of running parallel with her money and his legal defense. It's she just, the she just can't. And the outing of all of his affairs and how yeah. all of this trouble that he's sitting in right now has yeah. a lot to do with his penis and infidelity yeah. and being dishonest. It's, like there's just too much for a self-respecting woman to want to bring that home and call that husband. Nor should he want her back. See, there's, there's also, there's a level of being a man too. There's, you shouldn't, you know, you've been busted with all this Presumably, if this is true, yeah, you, you really no. I mean, you, you've kind of broken something. You've broken it into too many pieces, and you need to. It's kind of it's just yeah. Go. It's better to just be nice you and know, be friends be nice if you can. Yeah, yeah, let her yeah, let her have to, her peace. Yeah, yeah. Trying to continue that for whatever reason uh, is really not fair to anyone. Uh, it's not fair to the you know. To that person, and quite frankly, I'm you know as a man, you know, what kind of life are you going to have living with a woman after you've been doing all that kind of stuff? She Why hates you. you. Yeah, she's gonna Why hate would you, you do that? You know, she's, you yeah. Eat, I mean, it's too could you, much. Could you, could you eat or drink anything in that house? <laughs> Nothing. Like Why it's just it's Rapport too much. Here, huh? Now, if um, she that. goes back, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, like I'm shocked not shocked but yeah. i think and it's not even just like reasonable logical me it's ma'am you have no choice but let's just top the cherry on the top of all of it is that he still has conspiracy charges if the conspiracy charges still hold at the end of the day it when he bonds out he can't he sheridan still has a stay of uh protection Oh, he's supposed to stay away from her, and so, and Shirley would be in a position to have to make a choice of her relationship with her daughter and her grandkids because he can't be around them. So right. she, in theory, have to distance herself. Like they can't come to the house, and they can't. Like she would have to distance herself and have her relationship completely outside of her home just to have him there, and that will do something again to the relationship because clearly something was happening to drive a wedge. So all of everything that we've just said from a husband standpoint, from a mother grandmother relationship standpoint, she can't have both at the time that he's still fighting his case because he is alleged to have victimized her name and her identity and her information. And I think even her kids names. So that's, yeah. that's another it's, thing. So it's just too, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's just too much, and it's not mm -hmm. fair to ask a person. It's as, it's asking uh, to me. It's just not. It's just asking too much. It's just, I think that's it, why I, he's I okay can't. saying that all the time. Like them folks done with me. Them because he knows. He knows deep down inside. No matter how much of a bum he is, like he doesn't really deserve, and he knows she doesn't deserve. He won't mind taking advantage of her if she opens the door. But I think he's already already resigned to it being over because he knows he's not deserving of it anyway. Um, right. But if she were to pull him back in, he would be okay with that. But also, uh -huh. on t like it's he said to Dre, he never even really loved her. So it's like, come on. Again, that's a, that's even. <laughs> This is like you another. No, facet, no, right? no, no. You can't. No, no. No, I think that he no, and if and if I were him, you know, if if, if Sonia, if you're in the bushes, pass this to, to Ernest too. When when you get out, 
I wouldn't even talk to Shirley. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even go over there. I wouldn't give her the opportunity to, to cuss me. I wouldn't even do it. I, I just I just flat out wouldn't do it. You best you just just go away and let the lady just kind of heal on her without that. I d- don't don't even don't even because there's nothing you can say that's going to undo that nothing and it just really it's really it's so that's why mm. I, maybe that's why i'm not so i'm not yeah maybe that's why i, I go sonya you, you can you got him you can have him i mean because he clearly isn't you know i don't think he wants her when he gets out i think he, um he she talks to too many men she she has too many male stories and too many male relationships for him to ever feel comfortable with a real relationship. He'll use her for an address, but yeah. once he's done, once he's free with court, they're going to be done. I don't even know if they'll make it through a whole entire trial without her calling the police on him cuz she <laughs> she's never had she said she's never really had a successful relationship at 55. Well, so, without the, I don't without think this the, uh, is the time to start, but we'll, we'll see. Without, without the financial, without money, he's not, he's no prize. So it's, you know, the, the one thing that he had that she really liked, he doesn't, you know, or she thought he had, he, he does not have. So, which is what money, moolah, baby. Yeah, yeah, no finance or no romance, you know, no, okay. no romance without finance. So, it's it's you got to have a job, job, <laughs> which he does not have, and that's gonna be, and you know, you that's went the, all the way back with that one, yeah, because nothing sure from nothing here. leaves to nothing. You got to have <laughs> something if you want to deal with me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, that was a good really, song, that's an oldie but goodie, yeah. It's not, it's not, it's still true today. So it is very true. Very, very, very is, true. Uh, yeah. You can't really quickest. That's the quickest test to see how strong your relationship is. Uh, and yeah, I don't think that, uh, that that's there. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't think yeah. That's he's, he's taking, it's yeah, like yeah. I said, have fun taking care of someone else's husband. Like at the end of the day, whatever the legalities are between Nesto and Shirley, they have a relationship that was recognized as a marriage now, is it legal? We're not going to get into all that. No. Sonia loves to say, oh, the blogger said it's not legal. I she she pulls it's so funny to me. I guess this is my last point. It's so funny how she takes everything everyone says and makes it like one master blogger. Like it's one yeah. everything everyone says is everything. So she takes what Chronicle Speaks, who Chronicle Speaks has done two, three, four installments of this. She hasn't been like on this story, like she reports on many different things, okay? Um, but she puts everything in a hodgepodge of everybody's fault. Um, but it's whatever. It's just she's not, look. She's I, not listening to you, Fran. She's not listening. She's not. She's not. On she doesn't. Oh, she why. can't take my advice. She's not cut out for my she advice. Like she's not. No, she isn't. doesn't need to even watch here. I don't think she takes anyone's advice. I think she takes you know. her own advice, which is the problem. So she's her. You know, she's her own counsel. You know, mm. that old adage about, you know, you go to court as your you, your own lawyer in court has a fool for a client. Mm. So, um, yeah. So I think that's that's what she's not listening to anyone. And Ernest is not going to help her. I don't think she has any. I, I don't think any. There's no one to kind of give her. The, you know, it's kind of like the emperor has no clothes. There's no one telling her. I don't think anyone's telling her what, what's going on, really. She's just doing this. On she No, I think she talks to her sisters. She talks yeah. to those nieces and nephews. The, yeah. There's no one who's got any sense who's really talking yeah. to her about like the yeah. optics and giving her a true temperature check. But I don't know that she wants that type of advice anyway. I, well, I just don't. I think any. I just I don't think anyone is giving her. Yeah, she's not getting sound advice like the true optics of this is the situation and you should stand down. Um, the fact that she continues to show up for visits and still talk about the case, even post knowing that videos are showing up on the YouTube streets, you would think she would have stopped by now, like talking in detail. She just can't I help herself. In her mind, she's not talking about the case. Huh. Okay. But, it, in her mind, she's not. But as you start having casual conversations and you're not disciplined, you 
tend to do, you tend to end up saying something that you, you know that you shouldn't say you you, you you evolve into it Ernest does not do anything to stop her he doesn't say stop he doesn't get you know on the phones he's going shh, 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 you know but on those video calls he doesn't do it I don't know why because uh, I think they were comfortable because keep in mind yeah. up until like up, let's say after the first of the year they were very comfortable because nothing ever got leaked out not mm -hmm. that this is a leak or anything, but nothing, right. there was no leak. There was no breach of the conversations. Whether the prosecutor was listening or not, they hadn't heard any feedback. So I think they felt like that was a safe zone to have real, you know, to have a more in-depth conversation about what they couldn't talk about on the phone. Because um, even, even in hearing calls, you never really heard her say, oh, it was so good seeing you today. Or that was a nice visit. I, I enjoyed our conversation. They never, never, you know, I don't, I can't recall ever hearing maybe one or two calls where maybe, oh, you made it back by now or whatever. It's like, where'd she make it back from? Well, I guess from coming to visit him. But right. we never really heard concrete references of like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. it was good seeing you. You look cute in your outfit today or whatever. They never really talked a lot about post visit or hey I'll be there in 20 minutes I'll see you later and I don't know like you know yeah. what I mean like they never they don't if they're a weird couple <laughs> they're weird they, they, this conversation who, Shirley, is strange Shirley, uh, well they, Nesto and Sonia yeah Nesto and Sonia yeah they, they're kind of yeah that's kind of a yeah it's kind of a Bonnie and, again because it was never supposed to be a couple that is literally a, a like I said that was the there was a jump off she was a jump was off the, that was the hustler that got hustled that was the and she wasn't yeah but but he has a lot of jump I mean he's able to do that kind of at will for somebody I mean where you know he's able to kind of do that all the time I don't know how he does it but he's able to do it yeah <laughs> he needs help but he's doing it uh um, mm. Wow, he does. He does. He's 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 been able he's been able to do that, and that's the problem with him being able to do that as much as he does. Because I guess you do what you can and you do what you do until you doesn't work anymore. So you can't do it he's, anymore. He's exactly. Ignore. So he's been doing it. So that's that's kind of what happened. Do I think that uh, the marriage certificate that she mailed it? I don't know. A lot that's of people are like, "That's can't possibly be accurate because who gives?" What officiant, what judge, what pastor is handing the marriage license back to the bride? Um, and you know what I mean? Like, who does that? Most officiants are going to get the, you know, everything is signed and they will deliver right. it. They will either bring it, you know, they pop it in the mail. That's it. And then you go get your, your certificate after it's been processed. Um I don't know. I don't know. Again, he says that. I don't know. But that's that. But again, you can't trust anything that anybody says. You can't. You I can't, like I yeah. I said that yesterday. It was like you, Nesto's you a liar. So just because he yeah, said it he doesn't said make that, it yeah. so. He said yeah. it, but he's also not a reliable narrator. We have to remember that he does also not tell the truth. No, he does not. You, you just don't know. With we, we don't know. And well, Joey, I'm going to let you go. Is there any closing words you've got for the YouTube streets? Everybody loves, uh, is J is Joey Daryl? No, I'm sure he's not. Who, You're not Daryl. Are you? Who, who's Daryl? Nesto's good friend who didn't show up a couple months ago for a visit. I, I saw a, I saw a, a video of him coming to visit. That's an interesting cat. Something interesting. Does hmm. he give you law enforcement? Does he give you? No. Does uh -uh. he give you um, uh -uh. Uh -uh. kingpin trying uh -uh. to stay low? I don't know. He he uh, he he. I made my money and I'm out. Now I'm just. The, he's very familiar with the system. He's I've uh, Ernest. His demeanor was very sheepish. He was very. He's on the phone. He's got his head down. He's talking. You know, he's talking like he doesn't want anybody to read his lips. I don't know. He's mm -hmm. a video call. Uh, mm -hmm. He's not up in the camera looking like when he's with Sonia. He's looking, you know, not looking the guy in the eye. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's, I don't know. Uh, uh, and because he doesn't, and 
So it could be it could be one of the two. I mean, it could be either one because he he doesn't say anything. I mean, he's he was very very measured. He was very careful about what he said. Um, and he kind of talked. He kind of he kind of read him his full. He kind of went through his full charges. Like you know, he kind of told him what, what he was in there for, at least somewhat. Um, so the answer is I don't know. I don't know what what it is, and I'm sure. I'm sure the streets will figure it out, but uh, I don't know. It was, it was, but it's, it's very telling. It's a different. Now, if I had a video call, if, if I, if I had a video call with Dre, then I could compare the two and you kind of know, but something, yeah, something didn't see. He seemed little, he seemed like he was, uh, you know, Daryl came to check on, it's almost like he came to say, came to you know what have you done what 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 have you said you know what's going on he was you know at first visit he was like don't talk so he he yeah he was not trying to yeah he's very familiar with uh the jail type system he's not a he is not a virgin at all Mm -hmm. He, he knows what's going on with that so again we'll find out at some point in time or maybe not but uh he you know he's doing the right but you know nobody's that's why you haven't talked no about there's him. a lot of casualties there's a lot of collateral damage dealing with nesto so it's best that he's carried himself in this manner and he's not the topic of conversation like others who want to showboat on the youtubes like even dion dion keeps a low profile like dion hasn't as far as we know, hasn't been in the comments. Dion's not trying to be profiled. Um, Dre, on the other hand, you know, not so much. Um, clearly, Sonya. And, you know, there's some people who are smart enough to keep quiet, and there's some people who just aren't. Uh, it, it's, it's true. Somebody wrote, does Daryl have a, a clearance? I don't know. I, again, I don't know. People with, people with, you know, in my experiences, people with clearances, aren't familiar with jail or how jails work. So I'll leave it at that. They tend not to be. I mean, uh, I think if Daryl was, was the guy, I don't think Daryl would show up because he's got people who are or clean go, enough. Or, or, or go to jail or go by and visit people in jail. No, they're, they're not they going to do that. They're, they're going to send someone who sends, they're going to send someone to check on him. That's, clean like yeah, totally it, clean and that no one's gonna be you know just kind of like oh hey are you good when he did the first visit yeah. are you good everything i was cool with that. when the second one i was like mm, this probably wasn't a good decision because this has gotten very messy i'm sure he probably if he knows which maybe he's checking in online who knows we don't know what daryl's doing the fact that daryl's second video is posted i would he seems like the type that would not be happy about that no. but it's not no. posted on the public and you have to have paid access to see but his face is still out here and um yeah. we've been privy to the conversation so it is what it is and, and you, that's what you, get when you deal with nesto <laughs> i think the street the streets it'll come out but yeah it was a, it's just an interesting visit i can't i can't make uh I can't make heads or tails of it. It could be it mm-hmm. could be a number of things. And as far as him going to the wedding, that's another one. There's multiple reasons why you wouldn't go to his wedding. Uh, I, you know, you you wouldn't go to the wedding because you didn't believe in the wedding in the first place. Uh, you. Didn't Nesto the said he didn't be photographed. He didn't want to be. He didn't want to be. Maybe he didn't want to be in Essence magazine with Nesto. No. I mean, Nesto is a undesirable ex felon. So right. maybe that's, right. he's just like, I don't want to be in pictures with like. I'm your friend, but man, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't want to be in all that. Yeah, I mean, too, too, too high vis. Yeah, it's, I mean, it could be a mm-hmm. number of things. So we can't, we can't always think it's next. Can't it, it, again? It could be heads or tails. It could be something very simple, like a guy has a profile job. He doesn't want to be a identif- You know, he doesn't want right. his name and stuff out there. I've changed or my life. Yeah, else. yeah, it could be something yeah. else. So we, we just don't know. So and I can't speculate on that because I, I don't know. But he, right. You know, I. It's hard to pinpoint what it could be and it could be so many different things it's kind of like well clearly he's someone who cares about himself and his footprint because if he wasn't 
then he would be a little bit more, even on the phone calls that he's had with Daryl, which have been few and far between, maybe there's one or two. He doesn't do a lot of talking on the phone. He's not trying to get into it and he's not trying to, he, he doesn't want to talk about it. So I clearly Daryl cares about himself. So he's not trying to get himself involved in any extra conversation with Nesto at all. No. So, no. Well, Joe, again, I'm going to let you go. Um, this has been a great talk. We had basically like the first half and then the last half with Joey. Joey comes to the YouTube street. Joey, Joey comes to talk to Bougie Gang. <laughs> only exclusive. Only you. Joey, the Joey exclusive. Only you. I'm um, a let me see. I think Daryl has a security clearance to protect. Remember, he was in the. Remember, he was in the. Remember, who was in the military? Not Nesto. Nesto was in the military. You're saying Daryl was in the military. Darryl. I mean, okay. it's possible. It, yeah. I mean, it's, it, anything, anything is possible. I, if so, you uh, have an unsavory friend, cousin, associate, and you're just going to check on them, it's like, sir, we'll talk when you get out. I don't want to be involved in any of this. And he was very astute to have those feelings early, early on. But unfortunately, he got caught by the camera, and that's too bad for him. But he has kept it very low key. That's that's all you're going to see from Daryl because we did see the visitor logs. He only shows up twice, so we've seen yeah. both of Daryl's appearances. Mm -hmm. Daryl has only come through on a couple of phone calls, and they were on the three way variety. Um, Daryl's not around. So he's not no. trying to be in this with Nesto. Like he's no. he's kept his his distance. You know, again, I just know that Ness Ernest his fear of friends and no everyone seems to be a little bit tainted. Everybody seems to have something going on. It, it, no mm -hmm. one is no one is clean. No one no I'm trying to think anybody uh no, no. Shirley, I, I Shirley doesn't, but I don't know what Shirley's. Well, you know, Shirley's. Shirley is by default because there has to be something we don't. Not saying that there's any been ne nefarious behavior, right, but right. she is open. She was open to having this type of a man as a husband, knowing good and well that he was not clean background. She didn't separate herself from him after the first arrest, after the second arrest, after the third arrest, and she still stuck with him through the first half of this journey that he's been on. So again, that really, opens, that opens up another series of questions. Why would you stick? Why would you stick with a person who obviously has these kind? Of, why would you do that? Why? So that's how she rolls. Yeah. Okay. That might be her oh, type of dude. You know, it, I mean, I hate it, to say it, it, but that's there's yeah. that might yeah, be her I mean, type of man. It, 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 I mean, okay. Steve Harvey has the beautiful Marjorie Harvey, but on this, like, we Marjorie has a background too, absolutely. right? Absolutely. You know, absolutely. I mean, Margie, Marjorie is fantastic, she wears the most beautiful, expensive clothes in the world. She's fit. She's a beautiful woman of a certain age, or just a beautiful woman, period. She's got beautiful kids, all of that. But they call her the queen of her of of H. Like she has a, you know, and then she's dealt with two family members, had kids with both of them. Yeah. Um, ma'am is not, you know, she's not pristine. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is a circle of not so pristine people who have managed to make good money and some nice careers for themselves. Um, Shirley yeah. is not above reproach. She has, she's obviously, you know, it's kind of, uh, you know, she's not perfect and that's okay. You know what I mean? She's well, not perfect. I, I, again, just, it just kind of goes back to birds of a feather. I mean, there's a birds type. Of a feather a, flock together. Flock together kind of deal. And mm -hmm. there's a, even, even the Vic, even his alleged Vic, there's, there's an element of, you know, I can always ask the question: How do you get a a suburban for three thousand dollars? How does that okay. happen? Okay, um, well, you're happen? washing titles. I mean, how, I mean, so when somebody makes a proposition like that to you, and you bite, uh, 
see what I'm saying? You, you're not clean either. You're wanting something for nothing. You, there's, you, you're trying to get over on some type of system. Every one of these people is a, is a little bit, I think Bickham, maybe not all, you know, but I, I but, but uh, just, you just have to think about it. And again, I don't know. These are just questions I have in my head when I'm not thinking about something else. And I would like the people, I would like to, when the, when the court, when the, the trials happen, they will get and explain these things and then it'll all make sense. And then I'll be able to kind of go, oh, okay, that's why. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Oh, I didn't think of that. Uh, unlike, yeah, why uh, would Gail think that a RV was a good thing for her to use for her business unless her well, business was going to go mobile um he he, he he talked her into it you have one of no these i get it companies. but i mean where's the contract where is the why like very all good. of the questions very we have good. like are there very emails good. detailing gave, out what the plan was if i gave someone a hundred dollars i'm going to follow that hundred dollars to the point you're gonna get your hundred dollars <laughs> i'm not going to just blindly send you hundred bucks nobody and she did not a hundred dollars yeah $100. i'm afraid so oh. yeah 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 she did it with 90 she did it with 90 you know what i've gotten to where people don't eat i've i don't know people don't ask me they don't ask at all they don't ask me no, nobody asked me for money you know, I give off that 90. energy. I give off a so don't going, ask energy. So she's gonna, so she's going to have to basically kind of you know people have people will explain how that how that whole thing happened. I mean so, and it could be something. It it could be a, you know, and that's why I want to hear the story. I want to hear the. I love stories. I want to hear the story. How this whole thing built up to this, um, and he talked know, her out of it. Green waters. Yeah, I mean, I, I have, I have a, I have a few, you know, a few friends I talk to this about, and you know, uh, and and everyone has a different. Everybody says, uh, you know, that bag, his little toolkit. That's what did it. That's what got everything. And I said, it can't just be that, or can it? I don't know. So you, you, you never know. I said, it can't, it can't. That can't do. You just can't. That can't be the. That solely can't make people lose their mind or not think things through or make really bad financial decisions. That, that doesn't work. Uh, but you never know. Well, I mean, those are all really good points. Um, so I guess we're going to have to see what's next, uh, what comes up. But I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. We have been at it almost four hours hours three hours mm. and 46 minutes but this was a great conversation joey it thank was, you bro. so much for coming up we appreciate Thanks you so much me. i'll talk to you and in a couple of weeks i guess mocha I is saying i would follow the money from the streets to the witness stand absolutely it's always the money trail and everything it's always the money you got to follow the money and that's where it's going to tell you where did the money go what was the money spent on where did the money come from all of the things so yeah yeah yeah, we'll so, talk after the twenty third. We'll see how that's how judge, what, what happens after that. Okay, so that's going to answer some. That's going to answer a lot of questions on that. On that. Absolutely. On that okay. Well, mm. thank you so much, Joey. You're welcome. Okay. Take care. All right. Bye bye. You too. Bye bye. Who guys? That was a marathon of calls. We had a lot of good calls today, and how exciting was that? Um. All right, guys. Thank Joey, 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 Joey. Thank you so much for calling in. Guys, I'm exhausted. I need to go ahead and handle business around this house. I appreciate y'all coming through. Um, got to follow the money, period. I hope you guys enjoyed. We had a nice chance to chat today. Um, you guys are all amazing. And look, I think at the end of the day, this the events of the last couple of weeks, I mean... We just got to keep moving because at the end of the day, um, we've we've we're on topic, and we're just going to keep moving. Just like what did what did Dory say? Was it Nemo? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. That's it. Okay, if you were here for the Dory commentary in the last couple of days, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, you got to roll back. Um, Joey, I did drop those links in the chat. I'm not sure if you saw them or not. 
Um, but I will drop them. I will share on the community wall. If you have not seen the Erica King bail hearing, check it out. Um, it was a really good live. It was two lives back to back. Um, there was the bail hearing and then we went over some of the in information that some of the public documents, um, supporting the events that were discussed in the bail hearing. Okay. Um, and I do still have more, so I need to compile some things. I was hoping that the system would come back up to be able to make it a little easier for me, but maybe not. I'm going to have to just go through what I have and print out what I have just to kind of work through some things. I love working on the actual live computer better, but um, I did print out and save a lot of stuff in PDF, but we we have some more stuff to talk about as it pertains to Erica King. So, um swallowed okay have you been swallowed okay you guys are so funny <laughs> okay guys i'm gonna let y'all go before i start getting super silly okay and mocha thank you for the advice i will be contacting spectrum okay guys take care have a good evening and i will see you guys tomorrow okay bye